American Comics. Create the Man in Black. Start interviewing the three-body problem. Chapter 21. Red Button. The moment you press it. The whole car began to tremble violently in an instant. Then, in the dumbfounded eyes of everyone, the entire car body began a dazzling transformation. I don't know how many secrets are hidden in the small body. In just 10 seconds, an extremely cool and streamlined shuttle appeared before their eyes. The interior decoration of the car has also been completely changed, and even the steering wheel has been changed to an operation panel similar to an airplane joystick. The most outrageous thing is that even the leather of the seat has changed, becoming a very sci-fi flight seat. At the same time, Zhang Beihai discovered that they were already floating in the air. Just when he was still wondering how so many structures were hidden in the car. The strong feeling of pushing his back instantly pressed his whole body to death on the backrest. Whoosh! At the rear, several thrusters emitting blue smoke, output extremely high thrust. In the eyes of the surrounding people, after the shapeshifting of their car was completed, a blue ion stream was instantly ejected. Then it became like an arrow leaving the string, rushing out of the Mars base. After leaving the gate of the base, he looked up directly. Almost at 90 degrees, the brick flew with great force, and flew directly into space. Ah, cool, no man can refuse the excitement of this, racing car. It's the same even if Jay feels like he's going to be pushed into a meatloaf by acceleration at the moment. This was also a very novel experience for Zhang Beihai. The current space technology of the coalition government is still at the stage of aerospace aircraft. That is to say, the rocket of the carrier fuel tank drags the interstellar plane into the sky. It's big and has a good carrying capacity, but it's hard to miniaturize. Even if you sit in it and take off, you can only feel the acceleration without the thrill of such a small shuttle. It's like the speed of an airplane can reach hundreds of kilometers per hour. But sitting on a plane still doesn't make one's blood spurt even more than sitting on a motorcycle. Your car is really good. Really. I feel good too. Ha ha ha. Zhang Beihai became a little envious of the real name system, this kind of vehicle that can switch between ground vehicles and small spaceships at will. The technological content is not low. The coalition government is still arguing over whether the future development of spaceships will revolve around propellant thrusters or non-propellant thrusters. The man in black is already able to drive a car into space at will. The speed of the shuttle is very fast, and it has broken through the atmosphere of Mars in almost a few minutes. The speed is so fast, but the pressure on them from the acceleration doesn't seem to be as great as imagined. Maybe it's the function of the flight seat. Zhang Beihai silently recorded this experience. Perhaps in the future the coalition government can also follow suit. Has reached the scheduled orbit, T-1023, F-1456, P-55534. Soon, they had spared Mars half a circle and came to the orbit in the other direction. After the onboard computer calculated the trajectory, it stopped. Work, Jay picked up the, small pistol, without any hesitation, and opened the car door. The two slowly floated out of the car. Hold on to the handlebar tightly for fear of being accidentally thrown out. The power is adjusted to high. Dot the shooting angle, according to the direction calculated by the onboard computer, well, that's it. The solar system is very far away from Proxima Centauri. The distance of four light years is almost a few lifetimes away for humans who have not mastered interstellar navigation technology. Even at the speed of light, it takes four years to fly. From orbit above Mars, looking towards Proxima Centauri at such a great distance. Only one bright spot can be seen. So, if it's really going to start shooting from here, you must have the help of the onboard computer to adjust the shooting angle. However, even with an auxiliary aiming system, human hands are still not that precise after all. With a slight shake, there is such a slight change in the angle, and after the shot is fired, it will be missed by a thousand miles. So, Chin Yun let Jay come for half an hour. That's right, it's okay to be afraid of not being able to shoot. Let's come to him at full power for half an hour. All angles are covered. With the help of the auxiliary system, and Zhang Beihai's curious attention. Jay slowly pulled the trigger. In an instant, a slender beam of light spewed out from the muzzle of the gun. Burst away towards the deep space. What the, little pistol, ejects as the purest flow of particles. 
The energy of the entire blue giant star was compressed into the small gun barrel, and then lost with astonishing energy density. From a distance, it is just a few seconds. The stream of particles ejected from the muzzle has extended a very long distance. From a distance, it looks like Jay is holding a bamboo pole of unimaginable length in his hand. It looks a little funny. The bamboo pole trembled from time to time, forming a net-like structure, as if it wanted to include everything within a certain range. However, no one can laugh at such a funny picture. At this moment, the entire coalition government, the Earth, Mars, the Moon, and the newly established Transit Space Station. All the satellites and equipment capable of detecting high-energy reactions sounded violent alarms at the same time. Warn, warn, high-energy reaction detected, high-energy particle flow. The energy intensity exceeds 50 trillion 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 joules. Still going up, still going up. Warn. What's going on? 50 trillion trillion megajoules. High energy particle flow. The energy level detected by the instrument has almost surpassed the limit that human beings can imagine. It's the man in black. Agent J's pistol. The nearest Mars base can clearly see what J is doing through the satellite. That unimaginably terrifying flow of particles was actually inspired by a pistol. Oh my god. Am I dreaming? The brilliant streamer of particles waved in the sky with Jay's palm swinging. It looked like a stage play. However, everyone knows how terrifying the energy level of that beam of light is. Even one second of output is enough to turn the Earth into a firework that can only be seen once in a lifetime. This is too scary. If he shakes his hands, sneezes, or accidentally sweeps the Earth, humanity will be extinct. The people at the Mars base looked at Agent J who was still waving his arms, and felt his heart was about to jump out of his throat. Is this the men in black organization? Can pistols do that? Zhang Beihai, listen to us, you must not be nervous now. Breathe steadily. Zhang Beihai was still curious about what the beam of light shot out was for. Just about to chat with J. But he heard the leader's trembling voice coming from the headset. What happened? I'm not nervous. I think I'm doing fine now. Zhang Beihai thought it was because they were worried that he was under pressure from flying too fast in Jay's shuttle just now. Their shuttle has a special flight seat. I don't know how to offset most of the acceleration. I feel that my body is still in good condition. Quote dot dot dot. Beihai, that's not what I'm talking about. The leader has something to say. Zhang Beihai also noticed that the tone of the leader's speech was a bit strange. Hu hu. The leader seemed to be organizing his words. After taking a few long breaths, he tried his best to maintain his tone and said, Beihai. Dot the gun in Agent J's hand. Dot you know it. I know, what kind of laser gun is this? It's been shooting into space for a long time and I don't know what it's doing. Just now J told me that it was given to him by his boss. He said it was rubbish that only the poor can use. It sounds like it's an obsolete technology. Maybe it's some kind of flare gun. Just looking at the beam of light, in fact, Zhang Beihai couldn't see a one, two, three. I just think the brightness of this thing is good. Such a long beam of light must be obvious when used as a flare gun, right? Quote dot 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 quote. I heard Zhang Beihai say something about this gun. The leader tied Q directly. He really said that. Listen, do you speak human words? Eliminated poor garbage. It's just such a piece of rubbish, it can blow up the earth in a second. You tell me this is rubbish. Yeah, what's wrong, leader? Quote dot dot dot. It's nothing, it's just that there is a very important task for you now. Leader, tell me. Zhang Beihai subconsciously straightened his body. This is the military gene in his body at work. That's. Dot you must, must be optimistic about Agent J, and you must not let him point his gun at the earth or other planets in the solar system. Even at the sun. There seems to be some fear in the words of the leader. Ah, why is that? Quote dot dot dot. Beihai, do you know the energy level of the particle flow detected by our detector? 50 trillion trillion megajoules. It is hundreds of times that of the sun. Hearing such a terrifying number, Zhang Beihai was stunned. 50 trillion trillion megajoules. Subconsciously, Zhang Beihai looked at Detective J who was playing, stick stick, with a gun at the side. A lot of liquid was secreted from the mouth unconsciously. Gouda, he swallowed again. With a trembling tone, he said, that is to say. 
the leader took over the conversation faster than him. In other words, this beam of light, even if it accidentally touches the skin of the earth, it can cause a huge chain reaction. The earth can't last a second. No, a second is an overestimation. Just a few minutes ago, the particle stream he inspired, is enough to blow up the solar system ten times. It is hard to imagine that the particle stream of 50 trillion trillion megajoules is compressed into a beam of light with a diameter of only a few centimeters. How terrifying is this power? Zhang Beihai couldn't help but think of Agent J's adjective for this gun, garbage. Rubbish. Can this be called garbage? Is there still Wang F.A.? Is there still a law? So, Beihai, you must keep your spirits up. Be sure, be careful. Now you are the only one by his side. The fate of the entire earth is now in your hands. The leader looked helpless. When Jay said he wanted to shoot Proxima Centauri with a pistol, they really didn't take it seriously. Who would have imagined that the so-called pistol is such a thing? I, I will pay attention. Thinking of the consequences of Jay's shaking hands, Zhang Beihai couldn't help shaking. Originally, he was several positions away from Jay. Subconsciously grabbed the handle and moved two steps forward. The kind that he can reach out to whenever something feels wrong. This moment, everyone who could see this scene looked up at the starry sky. In their eyes, the beam of particle light emitted by that poor little pistol is so tiny, like a strand of hair extending infinitely, weaving into a messy net, and bursting towards the starry sky. Is this the strength of the man in black? In their minds, the strength of the men in black organization was infinitely elevated once again. You know, this is just a pistol. The attack energy emitted every second is enough for the entire human race to use for millions of years. How terrifying a technical means is this. Dot dot dot. It's over. It's all over. The shock of the Trisolarans is no less than that of the coalition government. In fact, when Jay just took out the gun and passed through the dimension gate, they already felt that something was wrong. Because according to Sofan's analysis, the blue ball in the gun barrel looks like a blue giant star. However, even with the brains of the Trisolarans, they involve latitude-level technology. It is also impossible to imagine, how could a blue giant star be put in the barrel of a pistol? Just the size is not a level. However, the moment Jay pulled the trigger, they believed it. So Fawn detected the high energy reaction in this far before the coalition government. However, when the first stream of particles shot out from the barrel, they knew it was too late. The particle stream is the speed of light. At this speed, in about four Earth years, the particle stream will reach our galaxy. No matter which planet it rubs against, our galaxy will perish. At this moment, all the higher-ups of the Trisolarans fell silent. The Trisolaran galaxy is a complex operating system. Three massive planets attract each other and maintain a delicate balance. The reason why the Trisolarans chose to invade the Earth is also because this delicate balance is too easily broken. In about one million years, the Trisolaran galaxy will be destroyed naturally. So he was looking for a new home. Now, however, it won't take a million years. Four years. It only takes four years. Wait for the particles to flow to the Trisolaran star. There is no doubt that everything here will be destroyed. And it was the kind that was violently demolished. How could this happen? It shouldn't be. It's unscientific. They have the technology to build a blue giant star into an individual weapon. Why would they help the people on Earth? That gun alone is worth more than the entire solar system. This is not the human being we know. The man in black is not a human. At this moment, the Trisolarans felt confused for the first time, confused about the future of their civilization. What should we do? The man in black, it seems, is not something we can provoke. In the past, Trisolarans were very confident about their technical level. In their view, the Earth was just something they could easily get. However, it now appears that they are nothing more than frogs in a well. A civilization that can miniaturize blue giant stars into weapons is beyond their imagination. Just like primitive people can't understand modern people, modern people can't understand Trisolarans. The Trisolarans also couldn't understand the man in black. Then our declaration of war. Declaration of war. Just declared war, our home planet will soon be gone. At this moment, some Trisolarans seem to have learned to swear. Quote dot 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 quote. Is there a way to intercept it? 
Interception. Even if we use strong interaction materials to form a protective net, we can't stop it. The energy level is too high. Strong interaction materials are one of the strongest technologies of Trisilarin. The structure of the material is similar to that of a neutron star, and the water droplets are made of this material. All the molecules are firmly nailed together with no gaps. So, it's a structurally very, very strong material. In theory, this level of material can block the attack of the small pistol. But, that has to be enough. Manufacturing a fast and strong interaction material requires consuming huge amounts of productivity and energy. Since the Trisolarans don't know how many thousands of years of background information they have, they can't make up the materials for a battleship. It can only be used to make water drop detectors, and to equip a part of the fleet with a thin layer of armor. And the power of the small pistol, has not stopped until now. On and on, as if it never stops. To resist this kind of attack, they need at least a strong interaction material the size of the earth to completely prevent it. The problem is, it's totally impossible. It's too much money. Such a huge energy, a whole blue giant star, is only used to make particle weapons. Even though the two sides were enemies, the Trisolarans couldn't help feeling angry at the man in black's prodigal behavior. A controllable blue giant star, if given to them, these resources are even enough for them to solve the three-body crisis. Dot the other party just compresses and ejects these particle streams. It's too wasteful, I don't know how to save energy at all. There is a saying in human beings, it is called brick flying with strength. We are the bricks that are about to be blown away. For a while, the senior management of Trisolaris fell silent. Do we still have a chance? We still have a fleet. Our fleet will reach the solar system in 300 years. But there are still four years. Our home planet is gone. Everyone who stays here will die. For Trisolarans, everything has become a little more complicated now. Part of their fleet has already set foot on the way to the solar system. Existing fleets simply cannot hold their civilization. Even if the fleet that has already set off is turned around now, it is too late. Their original plan was to use the resources of the solar system to build ships after eliminating all humans. When I come back, I pack the entire civilization away. Now, time has become a big problem. They have no time to continue with their original plan. It's too late in time. Even if we use all the productivity to build spaceships, we can't take much away. And, most importantly, the solar system where the men in black exist will no longer be a new home for us to start over. We have nowhere to go. Suddenly, the Trisolarans discovered that they had fallen into a dead end. 1. There aren't enough ships to take civilization away. 2nd. Even if they had enough spaceships, they would have nowhere to go. The Earth may no longer be something they can manipulate at will. Now, there is only one way, peace talks. There are no permanent enemies in the world, and the only way we can go now is peace talks. But will the other party choose to negotiate with us? Moreover, even if there is a peace talk, the issue of the spaceship is still unresolved. The particle flow is coming in four years. Then we can only hope that they can solve the attack they launched. As for whether they will negotiate peace with us, I'm sure they will, because we have reasons they can't refuse. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Dot 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 dot. Finally stopped. When Jay turned off the energy output in his hand. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. People watched the last beam of light drift away, flying into the deep space until it disappeared from their field of vision. Their hearts finally stabilized. No one knows how much the people in the coalition government suffered during the half hour just now. It's like some three-year-old child is playing with hundreds of thousands of nuclear bombs. Although it wasn't me who blew it up, I was always afraid that if someone accidentally threw it for the festival, everyone would have to finish the game. The mission is completed. Then let's go back quickly. I invite you to have a good meal at the Mars base. It was airlifted from the Earth, and the price is definitely enough. Zhang Beihai hurriedly pulled Jay back, fearing that he would shoot again if he didn't shoot well. The two got into the shuttle and soon returned to the Mars base. Although the base is not particularly large, it has everything that should be there. In the restaurant, Jay casually placed the small pistol on the table beside him. He ate the big meal carefully prepared for him by the base. Have no idea what just happened. Zhang Beihai seemed to be chatting with Jay, 
but his eyes subconsciously looked at the small pistol on the dining table beside him from time to time. Inside the gun barrel, the light blue sphere is still emitting a faint light. It seems so beautiful, so harmless to humans and animals. Well, you just leave this thing like this. Don't put it away. Zhang Beihai asked with some concern. It's okay, it's okay, it can fall off on the table. Jay said carelessly, with an ignorant and fearless look. Looking at Jay's nervous face, Zhang Beihai didn't know whether to be envious or helpless. But to be reasonable, the food here is pretty good. Much tastier than the Myrtle Burger on Queen Street. I feel like I'm going to fall in love with Chinese food. Quote dot dot dot, he he, just as long as you like it. What? You mean that I just, destroyed a galaxy? Jay was dumbfounded when he learned the consequences of shooting with a small pistol for a while just now. The Trisalaran galaxy is a very complex and fragile system. Zhang Beihai was at a loss for words for a moment. He didn't know whether Jay was pretending to be stupid or really stupid. Dot but it sure turned out good. All these years when the coalition government and the Trisolarans have been fighting each other. Humans have never taken advantage of any dimension. Don't look at humans as if they have done a lot of things. All kinds of attacks on ETO, the rape organization, and the establishment of a coalition government, all of them are united. What made the position of Wolfacer specifically for Trisolarans, and so on. In fact, all of these are just human beings playing with themselves. Trisolarans did two things from beginning to end. Launch Sophons to monitor everything about human beings, and use Sophons to lock human technology. Send out the fleet and head towards the Earth at one-tenth the speed of light without haste. To put it bluntly, all the life and death of human beings are just things that happened on the Earth. And these things, in fact, do not affect everything the Trisolarans have to do. Human hands can only reach one-third of an acre of land. This is the most essential difference between the aggressor and the invaded. It's like what Guigi, who had a good life in his childhood, did back then. Today, several bunkers of Guigi were blown up, several county towns were taken back, and several civilians were rescued, all of which happened only in their own homes. It has no effect on Guigi's homeland. All the violence and pain, sacrifice and salvation, are the suffering of the weak. And today, everything is different. What Chin Yun asked Jay to do completely broke this endless loop. For the first time, human beings have threatened the homeland of Trisolarans. No, it shouldn't even be called a threat. This is simply devastation. Quote. Already, some people couldn't control the smile on the corner of their mouths, and began to go into a daze. There is no way, there are too many desperate emotions on the united earth. Facing a civilization that is more than one level higher than itself, human beings can't do much, and even a lot of resistance is just pointless. The man in black changed the flavor of this senseless resistance. Good guy. Boss didn't tell me that this thing is so fierce. Jay's education level is not high, especially physics is simply a mess. But from what Zhang Beihai and the others said, he probably understood what he had just done. Then, can Trisolarans be able to stop this thing? Jay originally thought that what Qin Yun asked him to do was to shoot each other a few times before the battle. It's like a cowboy duel. But Qin Yun didn't tell him that the other planet would be destroyed by this shot. Block, how could it be possible to stop? The corners of Zhang Beihai's mouth could not help but slightly twitch. This is another particle stream from level fixed star. Do you know about supernova explosions? This is much more powerful than a supernova explosion. Although it's thin, its energy density is terrifying, just the energy level, it's not something Trisolarans can fight against. You must know that although Trisolaran's technological level is very high, it even involves the knowledge of dimensions. However, if they really have other powers against the level fixed star, they won't want to invade the solar system because of the harsh environment of their parent star. I have already cleaned up the fixed star in my own galaxy. The environment of Trisolarans is not suitable for biological survival because of the uncontrollable movement of the fixed star. Only then will their technology stagnate because there is no time at all, and there is no suitable place for them to continue to develop. We really can't stop it. Just as Zhang Beihai and Jay were chatting, suddenly, the woman that Sofan had transformed appeared out of thin air again. Such sudden behavior startled Jay a lot. FK, 
Yu Miao, can you stop showing up like this every time? Surprise me. Anyone who is eating and chatting, suddenly sees a floating woman wearing a kimono in front of her eyes, she can't help but tremble. Faced with Jay's scolding, So Fan was silent for a moment. After a few seconds, she slowly bowed to Jay. I'm sorry, sir, next time I show up, I will send you a newsletter application in advance. So Fan's attitude made Zhang Beihai's pupils shrink involuntarily. Just a simple bow, but a very important message was delivered. That is, trisolarans are starting to give in. At this moment, the entire expert group of the coalition government boiled instantly. Especially those high-level people, everyone stood up unanimously. Some people's eye sockets are even moist. Three-body people, they, their attitude, changed. Ah, this is a day worth remembering. No one knows, after human beings know the existence of trisolarans and the coming of invaders. What a stress. Almost every moment, countless people are suffering from inner torment. Even before that, trisolarans' attitude towards human beings was to ignore status. It seems to tell everyone, I am here, I conquer, you just wait for death. Now, trisolarans because of a scolding. He lowered his proud head. Tell me in advance next time you show up. Simple words, simple bow. But it caused huge amounts of role swapping between humans and trisolarans. They are scared. This is the first time human beings have felt hope. No, it should be said that human beings have never lost hope, but the hope they once had was nothing but self-deception of human beings. It's just a kind of spirit, and the spirit of not giving up is supporting them to resist. Because, the more highly educated and knowledgeable people are, the more they understand the technological gap between the Trisolarans and the coalition government. But they just selectively ignore this gap and are fighting for human beings. Just like countless pioneers, like the dragon in the east was facing the invaders. Truth is always within the range of a cannon. Suddenly, someone said a word. This was once the speech of a great man, and it is very suitable for this occasion. The moment Jay pressed the shooting button, Trisolaran felt the truth of human beings. The truth, let the Trisolarans bow their heads, let them no longer be arrogant, and can't ignore the existence of human beings. A-D-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E we formally request an interview with the man in black. We hope to sit down with you face to face and have a good chat. So Fawn's attitude at this moment is completely different from that when he clamored to declare war with the man in black without saying a word. She bowed her head and looked extremely sincere. Words are also full of requests, chat in other words. Even Jay, who has a big nerve, can feel the humbleness of the Trisolarans at this moment. It made him feel proud. The change in Trisolaran's attitude is definitely due to the half hour he fired the small pistol before. I have to think about this. But, if you really want to have an interview, isn't your level not enough? Jay couldn't help feeling a little headache. After all, he was just a rookie detective who had just entered the industry, and he didn't feel that he could really make any decisions. However, the boss is so busy, will he really come over in person? Can you send someone to our headquarters to talk? Jay felt that it would be much better if he could bring a Trisolaran representative back with him. Quote dot dot dot. It's not impossible, it's just. Dot the fastest we can come to the solar system is 300 years. Tomoko was a little helpless. The reason why Sofan was able to come here so long before the Trisolaran fleet was because it was just a modified proton. After two-dimensional particleization, it can move at the speed of light. This has almost reached the fastest speed their technology can move. After all, even their top warships can only sail at one-tenth of the speed of light. 300 years, Jay called out my good guy, I've begged for death in 300 years, right. However, when things got to this point, the Trisolarans were even more anxious. It doesn't take 300 years, but only 4 years. When the bullets of the small pistol fly to the Trisolaran galaxy, the Trisolaran civilization can also be declared to be over. Therefore, they must reach a settlement with the man in black within 4 years and find a way to make the men in black take back their magic. On the side, Zhang Beihai saw through this point, coughed a bit, and interrupted. I think we are not in a hurry, so we can wait for 300 years, and we can talk when your people arrive. Zhang Beihai smiled, it was a smile from the heart. You also have today, Tomoko, 
Behind Sophon stood the remote-controlled Trisilaran. They can control the speech of the Sophon through the synchronization of the quantum-entangled state of the Sophon. Hearing Zhang Beihai's words, Trisilaran became a little anxious. They knew that if they didn't do something, they wouldn't know whether the men in black agreed or not. Anyway, the coalition government will definitely trip them up. To show our sincerity, we have removed most of the Sophons that were placed in the solar system. There is only one left, which is me now. Moreover, what we can guarantee is that Sophon will not interfere with any human affairs, and will lift the technological blockade and monitoring of human beings. This Sophon will only be left as a means of communication with us. Hearing Trisilaran's words, Zhang Beihai's pupils shrank. This is undoubtedly exciting news. Trisolarans lifted Sophon's technological blockade and monitoring of human beings. Doesn't that mean, the basic science of mankind will usher in a breakthrough? At this moment, the expert group also boiled instantly. Really, Trisolaran unblocked, you will know if you try it. Trisolarans should not lie, they are a race that cannot tell lies. Hurry up and notify the Earth. Let them do experiments. Verify that Sophon's blockade is lifted. At the same time, the highest ranking leader of the expert group silently spoke into the microphone. Zhang Beihai, at a time like this, you know what to do and seize the opportunity. Hear the leader's words in the headset. Countless thoughts flooded Zhang Beihai's mind. Being selected as a representative to contact the man in black proves that Zhang Beihai's thinking ability and knowledge reserve are not for nothing. He has never lost to anyone, if not because his family is a military family. With his ability, he can become a master even if he enters any scientific research institute. Therefore, after almost 10 seconds of thinking, he understood the meaning of leadership. So, he silently looked at Tomoko. So Fan only felt that Zhang Beihai's eyes were full of aggression. We don't know whether what you said is true or not. You said you evacuated and then evacuated. We can't monitor Sofan. Zhang Beihai's words made Jay on the side nod constantly. That's it, Sofan. Our three-body world will never lie. When we say we are withdrawing, we are really withdrawing. You should know this. When Zhang Beihai heard this, he began to play dumb. We don't know. Human beings have always understood a concept that only what is in their own hands is real. So, if you want us to believe it, unless, the Sofon manufacturing technology and the Sofon control technology are disclosed to us and the men in black organization. The opportunity was in front of him, how could Zhang Beihai let it go? The more anxious the Trisolarans are, the happier they are. Hearing such a lion speak loudly, Tomoko fell silent again. The three-body executives started a frenzied discussion. They want Sofon's technology. This cannot be given. So fun is knowledge related to dimensions. Once humans master it, their technological level will usher in a big explosion. It only takes 50 years. No, in 30 years, they will have the ability to fight us head on, plus their civilization potential that develops far faster than ours. We will never have the possibility of winning. Quote. A Trisolaran leader strongly expressed his attitude. Such high-end technical knowledge cannot be taught to humans. However, his speech was soon completely blocked by one sentence. Our war has been lost. At this moment, the high-level members of the Trisolarans couldn't hold back anymore. After the truth was exposed, they discovered this desperate answer. With all the advantages, they lost so inexplicably. So, this is actually compensation. A certain Trisolaran leader said bitterly. It took us hundreds of thousands of years to develop from zero to have the dimensional technology to manufacture Sophons, just send it out like this. We can only agree to their request. If we don't reach a settlement with the man in black, we don't have much left. After all, a pistol can destroy our galaxy. Maybe they have other means to destroy our fleet. We can't even make starship wandering civilization. We can't use that thing. Our cards are still in our hands. That matter can only be used when we have a specific interview. For technology and survival, we need to use this matter at a critical time. Okay, then, promise them. When Jay brought Zhang Beihai back to the Marvel world, it was already the next morning. Boss, this gun, return to you. The first thing Jay did when seeing Chin Yun was to hand in the little pistol. Although this gun is very good, but Jay really dare not play too much. This is really an accidental shot and the earth will be wiped out. On the side, 
Zhang Beihai watched in horror as Qin Yun threw the small pistol in the corner like trash. I don't know what it feels like. Because of this gun, Trisalaran completely lowered his proud head. And such a powerful weapon, in the eyes of the men in black organization, is just a disgusting trash in the eyes of Qin Yun. But if it were the coalition government itself, billions of people would spend hundreds of years, but it would be impossible for the Trisolarans to bow their heads. This is the gap. The coalition government still has a long way to go. Mr. Chin, Trisolaran means that he wants to talk to you. The three of us sit together and have a good chat. Zhang Beihai went straight to the point and told Chin Yun what the Trisolarans meant. However, please rest assured this time, your small pistol has already frightened them, and now they should conduct this meeting with the attitude of the defeated party. They also handed over the Sofan related technology to us. The technology has been verified by scientists. There is no problem. We are now able to control their Sofans. So, it is completely possible to let Sofan come to your side under controllable circumstances. It seemed that Qin Yun was too busy to chat. Zhang Beihai took the initiative to explain the softness of the three body suit, and took out a USB flash drive, and handed it to Qin Yun. In the USB flash drive, it is impressively the Sofan technology provided by Trisalaran. After getting this thing, Sofan will not be a threat and can already be turned into their tool. The most important thing is that the basic scientific theories needed to produce Sofans are far beyond the current technological level of the coalition government. With this kind of thing, they will avoid a lot of detours in the process of climbing the technology tree. Qin Yun took the USB flash drive and kept playing with it in his hand. The moment the USB flash drive was in hand, the system's prompt sounded. The host convinces people with virtue and gains spoils, Sofan related technologies. Acquire system funds, 5000 points. System funds can be used to purchase special commodities in the system mall, such as special buildings, weapons, personnel, etc. What Qin Yun didn't expect was that after obtaining Sofan's technology, the system actually gave him some rewards. Quickly flipped through the new entries related to system funds in his mind. Qin Yun found that system funds are really a good thing. In the system mall, there are countless items that can be purchased. Down to basic common agents, combat robots, weapon vehicles, etc. When it comes to battleships and spaceships, nothing is ordinary. Security team, 100 people. Well-configured special service teams, each of which is a trained soldier king, proficient in the use of various individual weapons, equipped with basic black man weapon suits. Price, 100 points. This seems to be the person sent when the system was first activated. If I remember correctly, I still have a special service team of 1,000 people, but it seems that I have never used it. Agent Car, 1. A variety of forms, can be used by sea, land and air, can be converted into a space shuttle form, shuttling in planetary synchronous orbit, with a maximum speed of Mach 30. Price, 50 points. This system has also been given away, and Qin Yun still has 10 more, but so far there are only 2 agents, and there is no way to use them all up. Qin Yun turned the page to the top, and after a few glances, he was instantly speechless. S level level fixed star battleship. After solving the problems of gravity and materials, the file size of the battleship will not be a problem. The spaceship can be built to the level of level fixed star, or even larger. A complete level fixed star battleship needs to have the size of fixed star and other weapons of level fixed star. It is better to say that it is a battleship than a planet with a complete manufacturing, maintenance and other industrial chains, which can satisfy all your fantasies about battleships. With a full crew of 10 trillion, the main gun star destroyer can vaporize an entire galaxy in one second. Nothing can stop it from one shot, if anything, it's two shots. Price 10% discount for the first ship 999 trillion. Fixed star file size ships. Qin Yun is a little hard to imagine. How strong is this thing? Can a single shot destroy a galaxy? That is, the Milky Way is only a second away in front of it. Awesome. Just looking at the price, Qin Yun knew that this was something he couldn't afford at all right now. Originally, low-level things were quite cheap. 100 yuan was enough to buy 100 secret service fighters, and 50 yuan was enough to buy a car. But put it on. Excuse me. The most outrageous thing is that this kind of battleship doesn't seem to be the strongest yet. 
There are still a lot of things that I can't understand just by reading the introduction of Qin Yun. Even some individual weapons are included. Or special props. For example, Universal Basic Law Modifier. Can modify all the laws you can recognize, and will not affect other rules, causing chain reactions. For example, the speed of light is 1 meter per second, the boiling point of water is 10,000 degrees, Ah Jen loves Ah Chang, etc. Price. 99 trillion. This is a bit outrageous, can even the basic laws of the universe be modified? If this thing is used in the three-body world, modify the speed of light. Maybe the spaceship of the Trisilaran cannot fly to the solar system until the universe dies, right? But the price is also very touching, 99 trillion. I don't know if I can afford it for the rest of my life. Singularity. A complete singularity, which can open up a new universe according to personal settings, a must for the creator god. Price. 999 trillion. Good guy, if the Big Bang Theory is correct, how is this thing a singularity? This is simply recreating the world. But is more than 900 trillion yuan really worth the price? After all, there are so many multi-universe worlds, even if you want to do something, you can just find another universe, right? Qin Yun looked a little jealous. When I have money, I have to buy a create a world as the main base. It's really cool to be able to make your own rules. Definitely, Qin Yun is also just looking. What can you do with just 5,000 yuan for yourself? However, it's really cost-effective to ask aliens to pay for things. Can you still get system rewards? It's bloody good. Qin Yun felt that it was necessary for him to be more aggressive towards the third type of contact in the future. Not for anything else, just to earn more system funds. When Qin Yun was suddenly immersed in the system mall and couldn't extricate himself. Zhang Beihai and the others were already waiting impatiently. Qin Yun didn't speak for a long time, is he dissatisfied? Don't want to talk to Trisolarans. What does he mean? Why doesn't he speak? After closing the page of the system mall, Qin Yun spoke slowly. You seem keen to facilitate this meeting. Qin Yun looked at Zhang Beihai with a half smile, but Zhang Beihai didn't deny it either. Yes, the conflict between the coalition government and the Trisolarans has been going on for many years. The Trisolaran crisis has been pressing on our hearts like a boulder. As a result, the trajectory of our entire civilization has changed. We are very grateful to the men in black organization for helping us. At the same time, we also want to completely solve the three-body crisis. Things have developed to this extent, for the coalition government, they actually have no say. The one who made the Trisolarans bow their heads was the men in black organization, Qin Yun. The target of the Trisolarans is also the men in black organization. It was said that it was a three-party meeting, but the coalition government actually meant that the second brother was beaten, and the eldest brother came forward to beat someone up. The one who was beaten up was nodding and crying like a mummy who was only fit to be wrapped in a hospital bed. However, diplomacy, the weak side can also make suggestions. Qin Yun looked at Zhang Beihai for a long time. It's not enough. If this tripartite meeting is going to take place, I need to make a request with you. Hearing Qin Yun's words, Zhang Beihai's heart skipped a beat. Coming. Finally come. The man in black is making demands. In fact, the coalition government has long expected this matter. It took them 13 years to contact the men in black organization, but in fact they already had the consciousness to recognize their father. After all, there is no love without a reason in this world. Why should the men in black help them in vain? Definitely something to ask for. Now, Qin Yun finally spoke. This is actually a good thing for the coalition government. Because Qin Yun's delay in expressing his request made people even more frightened, but it was more reassuring to put his words on the bright side. Zhang Beihai took a deep breath and said slowly, You say, as long as we can do it, the coalition government will never shirk. Zhang Beihai's authority is very large, and the senior officials of the coalition government have already told him about it before he left. No matter what the man in black asks, as long as it is not particularly outrageous, such as asking all the people on earth to commit suicide, he can agree. The coalition government is ready. Even if Qin Yun told them to give up the earth, they all accepted it. The earth is gone and there is Mars, Venus, Saturn. As long as they are given some time, human beings will develop to migrate to other planets as a whole sooner or later. 
Don't be so nervous. I don't need the coalition government to do anything. The purpose of our organization is to make life better for humans in different worlds, not to act as invisible invaders. Seeing Zhang Beihai's seriousness, Qin Yun probably guessed what they were thinking, and quickly comforted him. To be honest, the coalition government has nothing to make him fancy, besides, the rewards of the system are already very generous. There is no need for him to squeeze the human beings in another world through the dimensional gate. This method is too strenuous, it is better to gather the wool of aliens. Then, what is your request? Hearing what Qin Yun said, Zhang Beihai asked with some doubts. My request is actually very simple. Qin Yun was silent for a moment, then stared at Zhang Beihai. I want you. As soon as this word comes out, Jay, who was a little drowsy by the side, instantly regained his energy. He looked at Qin Yun in disbelief, his eyes seemed to pop out. Subconsciously, my ass tightened. There seemed to be fear in Qin Yun's gaze. Ah, boss, you, don't you? You like men. How could the boss be such a person? I usually can't see it at all. It's too scary. Quote dot dot dot. Get out of here. When Qin Yun heard Jay's words, his defense was broken instantly. How could this man be so crazy? Is this the agent you recruited? Seeing that Qin Yun was angry, Jay knew that he had misunderstood, and quickly got up to apologize. Boss, I'm sorry. I, I probably haven't slept for two days, and I'm a little sleepy. Misunderstanding, it's all a misunderstanding. Then go to sleep. Okay. Dot. After Jay left, Zhang Beihai also smiled. Now you know why I want you. Qin Yun looked at Jay's back with Zhang Beihai helplessly. He is really short of manpower now. The base is in disrepair, and there are only two or two agents, one of whom is completely devoid of work, and is still doing her, part-time job, as Avengers. The other one has a good work attitude, and has been through for two days since he first took office. It's a pity that my brain is a bit nervous, and to put it bluntly, it's not deep enough. It's okay to deal with some small things at ordinary times, but I really can't handle big things. In comparison, Zhang Beihai is different. He is known as the, fifth wall man. Whether it is IQ, city government, or even knowledge, they are all very good. It may be that the combat effectiveness is low, but there is no one sentence to say it. The poor rely on mutation, and the rich rely on technology. Our low combat effectiveness can be made up for by science, right? Didn't that idiot Jay take a small pistol and scare the Trisalaran into tears? You mean, you want me to join the men in black and work for you? Zhang Beihai was very surprised. He never expected that Qin Yun's request would be so, simple. Zhang Beihai even wanted to say, that's it. You must know that the coalition government is even ready to bleed. The kind that even the earth can do without. You tell me, only one person. I appreciate you. Qin Yun expressed his appreciation for Zhang Beihai very directly. At this moment, Zhang Beihai's mood became very complicated. He actually felt flattered. From the perspective of the coalition government, the particle stream emitted by the men in black has consumed at least a few million years of energy for the coalition government. To help them at such a high price, in the end, you only need to go to work by yourself. Are you so valuable? This condition? Definitely no problem. Qin Yun said so, Zhang Beihai was not hypocritical, and agreed to Qin Yun's request without any hesitation. No one on the earth will not turn around if they leave, and in exchange for the peace of a civilization by themselves, this is definitely a huge profit. Moreover, Zhang Beihai was also very interested in the mysterious organization of the men in black. Being able to communicate across the universe and other parallel worlds is unmatched by any other job. He even looked forward to it. If he really joined the men in black, his future life would be, very exciting, right? Then, you are welcome to join us, I believe you will not regret it. Qin Yun stretched out his hand with a smile, and shook Zhang Beihai solemnly. My heart is full of joy. Finally, there is a character who can stand on his own. Fifth wall facer, Zhang Beihai. As for the interview, I agreed, but there is no need to ask Sofan to come over. After all, it is the Trisalaran who makes the decision. Although Sofan is smart, it probably doesn't have the authority to agree to some things. I'll go over and talk. After systematic testing, the Sofan-related technologies are all real, otherwise they would not be rewarded by the system. 
Although it is difficult to reproduce a sofon with existing equipment, it is completely controllable with existing sofons. In this case, Chin Yun is not afraid of any accidents if he goes to the other side. After all, trisolarans are still 300 years away from the Earth. Without sofons, the only threat can only come from other living people. Coalition government. However, could the coalition government have bad intentions for itself? It should be said, do they dare? Don't dare. Therefore, Chin Yun decided to go out in person and meet Trisolarans. That's great. When Zhang Beihai heard that Chin Yun was going to go in person, Zhang Beihai's eyes lit up. You know, Zhang Beihai knew and met all the men in black, from agents to other special agents. They are all called by letters or code numbers. Only one person, namely Chin Yun, has a name. His uniqueness can only show one thing, Chin Yun is absolutely a remarkable existence in the Men in Black organization. On Earth, at least it's a president or something, right? Chin Yun is willing to show up in person, which definitely gives them enough face. If that's the case, So Fan's controller can be built in at most two days, then we will meet in our world in about two days. No problem, you can also go back and deal with your own affairs first. In two days, I hope you can join the man in black. Zhang Beihai stood up straight, and saluted Chin Yun very standardly. My pleasure. Dot. Farewell to Zhang Beihai. Chin Yun found himself idle for a while. Let's do some research on what's good to buy in the mall. Chin Yun is a person who cherishes life very much, and the world he lives in is so chaotic, he feels the need to be responsible for his own safety. Coupled with the fact that he is going to the three-body world soon, he must be on guard against others. After looking at the system interface, he only had five points of combat power. Chin Yun still felt that he should first find a way to make himself feel at ease. Weapons are not bad, even if you don't use the small pistol, the base munitions curry's weird firearms are enough. Therefore, what we have to look at now can only be some protective items. However, these things are too expensive, right? Individual deflector shield watch. It can generate a deflector shield covering the whole body. Before the energy of the shield is exhausted, any non-dimensional, spatial, and spiritual attacks will be resisted. Especially effective against kinetic and laser weapons. Shield power. 100 GW, which can withstand Gatling's continuous shooting for about 2 hours. Price. 1800. This is an individual soldier's shield, worn in the form of a watch. To be honest, Chin Yun still likes it very much. It can block Gatling's 8,000 rounds of bullets per second for two hours. This means that with the level of human technology in the 21st century, unless it is an ultimate weapon such as a nuclear bomb, ordinary weapons are basically can't do any harm to myself. But the price gave Chin Yun a headache. This thing costs 18,000 yuan. So Fan's full set of technology is only 5,000 yuan. Looking at it this way, Tomoko really has no cards. However, when it comes to his own safety, Chin Yun feels that even if it is more expensive, he still has to win it. Purchased successfully, sent to the system space. The moment he bought it, Chin Yun immediately extracted it from the system space. Then he put it on his hand, and then the screen of the watch flashed twice, showing a line of prompts. The deflector shield has been activated, please select the activation mode. 1. Start 24-7. 2. Hazard detection start, 0.1 second start delay. Model. The two modes are easy to understand. The first mode is always on, but although the shield is very close to the body, it is always a bit inconvenient. For example, when touching objects, it is actually through the transparent shield. Gives a sense of restraint. The second is that it will start only when danger is detected, but the delay in starting is very fatal. Although 0.1 second is not slow, Chin Yun is afraid of encountering any particularly fast danger. For example, laser weapons are at the speed of light, and when you see them, you're done. Chin Yun thought about it and chose the second option for the time being. Now in the base, there shouldn't be too much danger. If you go out, choose the 24-hour mode. Just when Chin Yun wanted to have a look and buy something else. 808 hurried over. Boss, there seems to be something wrong outside. What's the situation? Looking at 808's appearance, Chin Yun felt ominous. Every time he shows up, it's not a good thing. Do you still remember the intelligent life boss who attacked us last time? 
he seems to have lost control, the entire network outside has fallen. Quote question mark question mark question mark exclamation mark quote. Dot 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 dot. To be honest, Chin Yun never imagined that the plot would become a bit incomprehensible to him. The existence of Ultron, in Chin Yun's view, has never been a problem. After all, as long as the original timeline develops, Ultron will be resolved by the Avengers themselves. However, what I didn't expect was that the development of this story didn't follow the original way at all. Dot 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 dot, Stark building, the Avengers came together once again. But everyone is disheartened, as if they have experienced a fierce battle. His complexion is also not very good. All because, they were deflated on Ultron. Originally, after Ultron escaped from the laboratory, he wanted to start a glorious evolution. That is to use Vibranium and Zhao Hailun's Cradle of Life to create a perfect mechanical body. Put the Soul Gem on. This body will possess great strength and almost indestructible defense. This is a very big temptation for an intelligent life. However, his purpose was seen through. The Avengers found it, which was making Vibranium's body, and after fighting countless robots, they successfully took back Vibranium's body. According to the original timeline, the next battle should start at this time. Vision is born, locking Ultron into the network. However, everything, but did not happen like this. There is one more variable. Natasha Romanoff. Vision, was not born as it was in the original timeline. When the metal body was snatched back then, the battle with the robot was too chaotic. There was a hail of bullets everywhere. And so, Natasha Romanoff shot. Coincidentally, the weapon she used was not the original lock or sand eagle. It's the phase gun from the man in black. This kind of weapon, which is obviously beyond the technological level of the earth, pierced a hole in the body of the so-called indestructible vibranium with just one blow. Completely scrapped, reasonably speaking, according to the metal properties of vibranium, it is not so easy to break. However, the men in black's phase guns are specially made, especially for organic matter and everything with a cellular structure. In the cradle of life, the arrangement structure of vibranium has been combined with human genes to become a semi-metallic organic substance. So, that shot sent vision, which was supposed to appear, directly back to God's home. Thus, the second battle began. Ultron sent a city into the sky, ready to drop it from Earth's orbit and destroy all of humanity. But was repelled by the Avengers. But, although Ultron's plan failed, they have nothing to do with Ultron. Ultron exists throughout the human web. And as an intelligent life, he can be said to be the god of the internet. Aside from the men in black base and certain places without a physical internet connection, Ultron can be said to be everywhere. After two of his plans failed, Ultron was in a hurry. He started to roam around the internet, and even took control of many defenseless military bases. The kind with the nuke. At the moment, he has more than 100 nuclear bombs in his hands can strike anywhere on earth anytime, anywhere. This is why 808 had no choice but to call Chin Yun again. After all, if Ultron launches a nuclear bomb directly at the gate of the headquarters, how can it be played? However, Ultron did not attack for the time being, but sent a message to the Avengers. Let them give him back their vibranium bodies. He still wants to evolve. Actually, letting him enter this body is beneficial. If he wants to evolve, he can only put all his programs into this body. He will no longer be an invisible program, but a life. Maybe it won't be so difficult for us to deal with him. Tony voiced his opinion. An intelligent life on the internet, even he has nothing to do. Then give it back to him. Let him into this coffin. I'm blowing it up. With that, Thor raised his hammer, seemingly confident in his strength. Return. Then why not? This end has been blown up. The genetic structure in the body has undergone a chain reaction. This thing can't be used anymore. Bruce Banner looked at Vibranium's body with a big hole in it, his face full of helplessness. It's completely useless. It's completely useless. Grass. That's embarrassing. What if the body is broken? Waiting online is urgent. Can you fuse this thing together and make one? Thor thinks, since it is metal, is it possible to recast this body after incarnation? Reorganization is useless, the structure of this body is completely destroyed. Vibranium is also an extremely special material. 
When it is smelted for the first time, once it solidifies, it will always have that structure and cannot be cast for the second time. Helen Zhao explained. Boy, then we can't return this broken one to Ultron. Then isn't he going to run away? Ultron wanted this body for evolution, not for a piece of crap. So things are getting a little more complicated now. Here it is, something is broken and useless. He will go berserk. Don't give it. Now it is raging on the internet, and even going to launch a nuclear bomb. I don't know how many people will die. What a headache. How did you manage to smash vibranium? Captain America, who had been silent all this time, suddenly looked at Natasha Romanoff with a complicated expression. Because, his shield is also made of vibranium. Over the years, nothing could damage his shield. Every day the shield has to go through all kinds of blows, guns, alien weapons, and even the beating of the artifact hammer, and it is still as bright as new. This body, which was made of the same material, collapsed with a single shot by Natasha Romanoff. Doesn't it mean that she shot her own shield with one shot? I didn't expect this gun to be so powerful. Natasha Romanoff was also looking at the phase gun in her hand with a dazed expression at the moment. This thing doesn't look too powerful. Why is it so powerful? Where did you get this gun? Hawkeye looked at Natasha Romanoff's gun with a gleam in his eye. As an agent, the temptation of equipment even distracted him for a while. This is, it's a long story, I went undercover to an unknown small organization, this is the standard configuration in the organization. Natasha Romanoff even suddenly felt a little unconfident as she spoke. One shot the vibranium, you tell me this thing comes standard. Captain America was dumbfounded, looking at Natasha Romanoff in shock. Unknown small organization, are you sure? Hawkeye's eyes widened too. Undercovering an unknown small organization, can a standard weapon be used like this? Quote dot 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 quote. Natasha Romanoff also didn't know how to explain it. What happened in the past two days is a bit confusing. Everyone, can we talk about something serious? On the side, Tony is a little upset. You guys are all chatting at this moment of urgency. I'm not interested in any undercover missions of S.H.I.E.L.D., nor do I want to know about this organization or that organization that popped up out of nowhere. I think we need to do something serious. Tony's words aroused Captain America's disgust. It's a serious matter. You made this serious matter. If you didn't want to study some FK mind gem and created such a villain as Ultron, would we be like this now? Now it's time to pick things up, right? I. Dot dot dot. Watching Captain America and Tony fight. Natasha Romanoff just felt a headache explode. Where is this place? Avengers. No, it's a vegetable market. Two so-called heroes are cursing Vixen. What a second-rate hero organization. Okay, stop making noise. At this moment, Nick, who had been drinking coffee in the corner in silence, couldn't stand it any longer. What are you all doing? Arguing. As a member of the Avengers, what you should think about is how to save the world. Instead of jerking like a fool here. When he said this, he didn't forget to wave to Natasha Romanoff. It means the mother-in-law is not talking about you. It's just that Natasha Romanoff didn't bother with it at all. The question now is, how to deal with Ultron. It is invisible and quality less, and it is almost impossible to fight on the internet. Even my space carrier system was invaded by it, so I had to shut it down forcibly. Nick is very helpless. Although S.H.I.E.L.D. has a large number of technicians, the computer hacking level can also be said to be the top on the planet. But in the face of intelligent life like Ultron, it is really not an enemy. Even the system of the space carrier has fallen. Tony sighed. No way. Ultron in the network is invincible. As long as he wants, almost any place with a network cable can't stop him. For a while, the situation seemed to be in some kind of endless loop. Can't give what Ultron wants, at the same time, there is nothing to do with Ultron. And, based on Tony's knowledge of Ultron, once Ultron knows that his vibranium body has been destroyed, he will actually launch a nuclear bomb. And there won't be any hesitation of that kind. Just when everyone was still battering their heads. Suddenly, Hawkeye shot an arrow hard at the window. Who? There is someone outside the window. It turned out that when they were still in the meeting, before they knew it, there was one hanging outside the window. Because of the existence of Ultron, 
Tony had to turn off the intelligent system of the Stark building, so that even Tony didn't notice anyone outside the window. That is to say, Hawkeye's eyes are good, and he noticed the figure early. For a moment, everyone picked up their weapons and looked out the window. However, with just one glance, something was wrong. He was shot with an arrow in the forehead. Strange things happen, Hawkeye's archery skills are excellent. It just hit the enemy's forehead with precision. However, the other party didn't seem to be aware of it, with half an arrow stuck in the middle of his forehead, he still looked at them with his head tilted. It seems that there is something inconvenient on the forehead. He stretched out his hand and slowly pulled out the long arrow. Wait, he's not human. Hawkeye's expression changed. Because he could clearly see that there was silver liquid flowing inside the other party's forehead. This is not the behavior that normal human beings should have at all. Liquid metal. Tony picked up a tablet and scanned the man. Surprised. Is this a robot made of liquid metal? Even he doesn't have this skill for the time being. So many scientific puzzles to solve. Could it be Ultron? If the person lying outside the window is Ultron, then things will be a big deal. Everyone looked ready to fight, only Natasha Romanoff did not speak, but was at a loss for words for a while. He looked at the man whose forehead had healed in surprise. A little suspicious, because, the clothes she was wearing looked a little too familiar. Plain black suit, white shirt, decent tie. It was exactly the same as the one she was wearing. The key is, he looks like someone, like, Chin Yun. Only the hairstyle is different. And the eyes are more hollow. But aside from these, isn't it Chin Yun himself? Stab. The T-1000 on Chin Yun's face shattered the glass with a punch, then jumped and stood in front of everyone. Such an action made everyone subconsciously take a step back. Looking at him eagerly. Ultron, is that you? Tony asked. Natasha Romanoff was about to speak, but was interrupted by Chin Yun. You guys are really, a bunch of trash. I'm so mad. As soon as he opened his mouth, it was a standard swear word. It made everyone's faces ugly. Before anyone could refute, Chin Yun continued. A small Ultron, I thought it would be enough to leave it to you, but I didn't expect to make things like this. Do I have to go out in person? I'm really busy. There is no doubt that the T-1000 at this moment is indeed controlled by Chin Yun remotely. As he said, he looked at Natasha Romanoff. There's also Agent N, I've left the matter to you, can't you save me some trouble? Chin Yun's opening gesture stunned everyone. Not because of anything else, just because he seems to be, a boss. Those who didn't know thought he was the big brother of Avengers. This, sir, can you tell me who you are? Why are you here? Nick asked with a serious face. He didn't know whether it was an enemy or a friend, and he didn't know what it was, so he had to call him Mr. This person appeared so weird, he appeared during the Avengers meeting, what the hell? He is the leader of the men in black. Finally, Natasha Romanoff spoke. For some reason, when Chin Yun appeared here, Natasha Romanoff always had the feeling of being caught and raped in bed. Let me introduce myself. I, the person in charge of the sixth sector of the men in black, Chin Yun. From now on, I will take over the affairs of Ultron. You go back to your own homes and go to your mother's. Although I really don't want to participate in this kind of crap. But Chin Yun found that when the timeline became incomprehensible. If he doesn't intervene, there may be big problems. In order to prevent things from getting more complicated, he felt that he had to take action. Where did you come from? Natasha Romanoff, is this the person from the unknown small organization you speak of? Thor, however, was a little annoyed. He called them trash as soon as he opened his mouth, and he said that everyone should go to his own mother. He is also a prince in Thor file size. Don't lose face. I, Chin Yun was about to say something when he heard the roar of a whole electron, and then... Pissed, the entire chest exploded like a flower in an instant. Out of shape, Tony... You're crazy. Tony, what are you doing? Nick and Natasha Romanoff yelled out at the same time. It turned out that Tony had secretly picked up the gloves of the armor. Hit Chin Yun with a repulsive cannon. However, in about a second or so, the exploded chest slowly returned to its original shape. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Chin Yun looked at Tony with a murderous expression on his face. You want to have a fight with me? Chapter 31 Tony smiled awkwardly when he heard that. 
Don't get me wrong, I'm just, a little curious, it's the first time I've seen you liquid metal. I just want to try his physical performance. I can't hold back. Feel sorry. Tony is a person with a particularly strong sense of crisis. Therefore, he has a very strong desire for power. Otherwise there wouldn't have been an experimental error that gave birth to Ultron. As a, scientist, the power he can control is technology. Like his steel armor, his current armor still adopts a modular design. Although this design is smart enough, it is much better than the previous equipment platform that is more unique every time it is uploaded. But he was still not very satisfied. He has always had a plan in mind, which is to design the armor into nanometal, which can be changed and matched at will like a liquid, and can be carried with him. It's just that because of the technical level and the lack of materials, this kind of thing has always been just a plan. But the appearance of T-1000 made him seem to have found a way to make himself stronger. So, he fired a shot subconsciously, just to see if this thing was the same as what he had imagined. Sure enough, T-1000 did not disappoint Chin Yun. The attack of the repulsive cannon is like scratching an itch for the T-1000. Hearing Tony's explanation, everyone present had black lines on their faces. Even Chin Yun was a little speechless. Is this the world of technical men? Tony, let's talk about technical matters later. I think we need to have a good chat with this. Mr. Chin. Nick has a different view of Chin Yun. Ever since Natasha Romanoff's information was deleted, he knew that this so-called men in black organization was definitely not a cheap light. The other party seems to know the existence of S.H.I.E.L.D., but they know almost nothing about the man in black. Talk, I have nothing to talk to you about. Chin Yun didn't want to have anything to do with S.H.I.E.L.D., there was absolutely no need for the two to hook up. The purpose of my coming is very simple. You don't have to do anything. The matter of Ultron will start now and it will be accepted by the men in black organization. Quote dot 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 question mark question mark question mark quote. When Nick heard what Chin Yun said, he didn't know why there was always a familiar feeling. Isn't this what the Hell Shield often says to others when it's doing business? For example, if some cases are taken by the marinated eggs, the people from Shield will say this to the local police officers or CIA who are handling the case. Boy, this is the first time S.H.I.E.L.D. has been arranged like this by others. No, who are you guys? You took over when you said you would take over. We are the Avengers. Why do you think you can do things that none of us can do? Chin Yun's attitude seemed to arouse public outrage. After all, everyone present has their own arrogance, they are the Asgardians of Earth, Avengers. Good old Dr. Banner pushed his glasses and said, Sir, I don't know what department you are in, but maybe you don't know Ultron well. Ultron is an intelligent AI. He is invincible on the internet. Tony has the foundation of the world's top intelligence system. If you want to solve Ultron, you can only find a way from the place where he was born. So, this is not a matter of responsibility, but a practical technical problem. Only Tony and I know Ultron best. I have to say that what Banner said still makes sense. Tony's understanding of intelligence can indeed be called the top three on Earth. Plus Banner with the same high IQ. As the birthplace of Ultron, it seems that only here is the only way to really solve him completely. Listening to what Banner said, Tony coughed twice, not knowing what it meant. Only Natasha Romanoff was silent for a moment, and suddenly said, Ultron once invaded the system of the man in black, but failed. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Tony and Banner were stunned to hear that Ultron had failed to hack into the Men in Black's system. How is this possible? You know, Ultron is not a simple hacking program, he is already a fully intelligent life. Hacking an electronic product is a completely different concept for Ultron than for ordinary people. Even the most powerful hackers and computer technicians have to use tools in the programming world, such as assembly language, C language and so on. But Ultron is different, he can directly access the basic zero and one, and control them. Just like humans in water, they need to wear an oxygen mask, or obtain oxygen through electrolysis of water. But, Ultron doesn't need it. Now is the water, he is oxygen. In this era, it is almost impossible to stop the invasion that boils over to Ultron. Even Tony would have to physically disconnect his device from the internet and use the internal LAN. The network that Tony and the others use now is the special line of shield, 
which is only open to some special military satellites and departments. I'm just here to tell you, and I'm not going to ask for your opinions. Qin Yun didn't even bother to explain. We have already started to act, I just hope you don't make trouble for me. During the conversation, a message from inside S.H.I.E.L.D. came through the communication system. It was detected that an unknown flight object was lifted into the sky, the speed is very fast. It is already in the geosynchronous orbit of the Earth. Wait, this thing is poisonous. Our two satellites were shot down by it. Nick's expression changed. No, it should be Ultron. Synchronous orbit, what is he going to do? Is it coming again? Before Ultron once wanted to ascend a city and turn it into a small planet to bombard the Earth. But it was stopped by the Avengers. Ultron is ready to do it again. Everyone was startled, and quickly prepared to take action. Thor's hammer has even begun to swing. This is if an object is thrown from the Earth's synchronous orbit and accelerates down. Everything on the surface of the Earth will be destroyed. I've said it all, don't interfere with my work, it's my people who go up. However, just when the Avengers were about to set off, Qin Yun quickly suppressed everyone's eagerness to move. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. For a moment, everyone's eyes were on Qin Yun, many of them were even hostile. Your people, why did your people shoot down our military satellite? You know, the internet is now Ultron's world. There are not many satellites under their control. Good guy, now Qin Yun got rid of two more. What is this? What does Qin Yun mean? Two moons? No, there are more than two. While speaking, Qin Yun slowly stood by the window and raised his head. For a moment, everyone subconsciously followed Qin Yun's eyes. Oh God, what the hell did you do? At this moment, it was night, but countless light spots could be seen, passing across the sky like a pop. It was the debris of the satellite that fell from geosynchronous orbit, and the fire caused by friction with the atmosphere. The violent friction will make these satellite wreckages emit their last afterglow at this moment. When it hits the ground, there may only be a palm file size left, or even less material. Everything else is consumed by the atmosphere. Seeing this meteor shower-like scene, everyone was stunned. This. Dot all satellites. Are you shooting down all the satellites on Earth? Nick's face darkened even more. This is undoubtedly a gorgeous firework. In this era, the role of satellites is self-evident. Whether it is communication, weather, network or various things, it is inseparable from the support of satellites. It can be said that without the existence of satellites, the loss will be immeasurable. The civilization and economy of the entire Earth must be set back by at least a few decades. Qin Yun's behavior is really incomprehensible. How many of those satellites do you think still have control? Qin Yun uttered a question that left everyone speechless. Quote dot dot dot. Then you can't beat them all, can you? A bunch of idiots. Qin Yun rolled his eyes and said. Dot. The existence of Ultron is actually a tricky existence even for the man in black. Although Ultron cannot hack into the system of the man in black, it is because he can roam the network anytime and anywhere. Even the technicians of the men in black can't do anything about Ultron. However, as intelligent life, Ultron is fundamentally different from things like computer viruses. Since it is life, it has a very important attribute, integrity. In other words, even if Ultron is just a series of codes now, he still needs to put most of his codes in a centralized place to ensure his integrity. If the dispersion is too wide, the independence and integrity of a life will be lost. Therefore, the only way to solve Ultron is to force it. First of all, those satellites in the sky must be disabled first. Almost 90% of the satellites in geosynchronous orbit have been taken over by Ultron. Using these satellites, Ultron is equivalent to controlling a high-speed passage, and it is the kind that does not limit the terrain. The satellite signal allows Ultron to go anywhere that can connect to the signal very freely. To put it bluntly, Shooting down these satellites is just to prevent Ultron from running away. After, Qin Yun used 3 C-class small combat spaceships to act as special, satellites. This is the spaceship rewarded to Qin Yun at the beginning of the system. Although it is a battleship, it has to be said that this thing is also something that can travel through the universe. Related supporting equipment is still very perfect. The three warships stay in the Earth's orbit in a triangle, so there is basically no dead angle to the Earth. The signal range can cover every inch of land. 
Then, using some kind of coder program, you can start cleaning up all the places on the planet where there is a network. This is also thanks to trisolarans. Sophons are also a type of intelligent life. There is a kind of code in sophon related technologies. Although Ultron cannot be directly eliminated, it can spread the entire network like a virus in a harmless way. Where this virus sweeps, it will make Ultron's core program unable to pass through. It's like a big net covering the Earth, which can compress the range of Ultron constantly until it's unstoppable. This is why Chin Yun had to download the satellite first. In case the scan is over, Ultron goes back in a circle through the satellite signal. How embarrassing. Dot dot dot. Hearing Chin Yun's plan, everyone in Avengers was dumbfounded. Playing. So big. They Avengers do things, generally, oh. There are enemies. Superior. Then a group of people get together to fight. But the men in black seem to have a completely different style of doing things. They seem to be even more, crazy. You mean, you now have a, net, that can force Ultron into a certain range. So shoot down all the moons, just to prevent Ultron from escaping at, high speed. Tony was the first to understand what Chin Yun meant. I just feel that the imagination and execution ability of the men in black organization are simply too outrageous. No one expected them to play like this. No matter which part of this plan is, it is very bold. First, to take down almost all the satellites, this alone is already very outrageous, whether you have this strength is another matter. Those satellites are originally very valuable. There are at least 6,000 satellites in the entire Earth. Excluding those that have not been controlled by Ultron, there must be more than 5,000. You know, how many billions must have been spent to send up any random one. This is an unimaginable sum, not to mention the collapse of the world economy after the satellite is gone. How dare they do this? Does this organization really have no worries about doing things? And then, some sort of program sweeps the net, cornering Ultron. This is even more difficult. You know, sweeping the internet is not sweeping the floor. And it's for the whole world. Now that technology is so advanced, network devices are everywhere. To keep Ultron from slipping away, this cleaning process must be very delicate. And the whole world has to bloom at the same time. And, finally, the most crucial point. Now Ultron has at least 100 nuclear bombs in his hands. He can strike almost any place in the world with precise nuclear strikes. You have to clean up the network, he will find out. If you let him launch a nuclear bomb, we will all have to die. The nuclear bomb, the ultimate weapon of mankind, is a huge amount of threat to any person, organization or even a country. However, hearing that someone was afraid of this, Chin Yun gave them a surprised look. How do you think? Those satellites were shot down. Quote dot 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 quote. As soon as these words came out, everyone immediately realized the crux of the problem. Yes, so many satellites were blown up almost at the same time. What does this mean? The men in black organization has a very high attack frequency, very precise and fast weapon. I now have three ships in geosynchronous orbit. The lasers installed on the spaceship were originally only for intercepting kinetic energy weapons, but now they can be used for something else. Without my permission, let alone a nuclear bomb, now, even a fly cannot ascend to the sky. At this moment, the Earth is under my control. Sometimes, the gap in technology can make people desperate. Just three simple C-shaped small warships can seal off the entire Earth. All the weapon technologies that modern people are proud of will look so pale and powerless in the face of three small ships parked in Earth orbit. Just activating the most garbage intercepting laser is enough to prevent any object on the Earth from leaving the ground. Wait, do you have spaceships? The ones that can fly directly into space? Nick was stunned by Flax. Spaceship. This is a spaceship. Even their shield, with so many resources, and scientists. It's just an aerodynamic space carrier. This thing already makes Nick look like a baby. However, you tell me that there is actually another organization on the Earth, and there are spaceships. At this moment, even Tony was in shock. Three ships, block the Earth. Although in theory, three points can indeed cover any corner of the Earth, but the difficulty of this is not so simple in actual combat. Take a simple example. Still take the Karita people as an example. They also belong to the universe civilization, right? They don't even have three spaceships, more than 300. 
Even so, the Caritas, who also have spaceships, still have to rely on opening the portal and then entering the planet to log into fight. That's the difference. However, C-tier battleships can have this effect. It is also normal. The reason why Qin Yun is so confident is because he has seen the prices of C-class small warships in the system mall. C-class small combat spaceship. Price, 30,000 points. The price of a C-class small combat spaceship is, 30,000 points. So Fon's technology is only worth 5,000 points. This spaceship is worth 30,000 points. This shows that the model and level of the spaceship seem to be rubbish. But the fighting power will definitely not be bad. As far as the broken ships of the Karita people are concerned, Chin Yun thinks that they can be worth 1 or 200 points, which is about the same. The two are not on the same level at all. From this point of view, the five C-class warships initially presented by the system were already considered to be the most top-notch warships he could use now. Dot 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 dot. Nick subconsciously turned his gaze to Natasha Romanoff. That meaning seems to be asking, why didn't you tell me that the men in black organization has spaceships? Natasha Romanoff could only respond in silence. Because, she didn't expect it either. Before that, she had been skeptical about what happened at the men in black headquarters. Now, she found out that she was wrong. Big mistake. The man in black is really fierce. No one doubted that what Chin Yun said was a lie, because there are still many satellites with relatively high orbits still falling. Those flames are the best proof of the strength of the men in black organization. This world will be in chaos. Nick stood beside Chin Yun with a gloomy face, looking at the sky with him. For a moment, he didn't know what to do. Are you going against Chin Yun, or following his wishes? If it is right, can S.H.I.E.L.D. really control the man in black? Don't worry, we have experience in dealing with things like world chaos. Chin Yun is not afraid to make things big. In addition to the awesome detectives of the men in black organization, the most powerful thing is actually the aftermath of the logistics. What about the whole earth? Chin Yun never worried about the so-called aftermath. Things went pretty much as Nick expected. The world is indeed in chaos. Although Ultron had obtained most of the satellites before, he still had control over many key places. But he was just controlling it, and it didn't affect the lives of normal people. Because in his opinion, those people are going to die sooner or later, it is better to let them be honest. So, in fact, ordinary people's life, what should be or what should be. However, Chin Yun made a sudden move after knocking down so many satellites. Many countries, or satellite owners, immediately noticed something was wrong. All their satellites have lost contact. Oh my god, what happened? Why are there meteors all over the world? That's not a shooting star at all. But our artificial satellite. Oh, god, are we in another alien invasion? So many satellites are gone. Our company's commercial satellites are gone. It is estimated that within one minute, at least 5,000 satellites in Earth orbit were destroyed, and 90% of the satellites have lost contact. Wait, so many satellites are gone, why is my positioning system still good? Satellite phone can also make. Strange, what happened? Interestingly, although so many satellites have disappeared. But whether it is weather or communication, all normal ground facilities that require satellite assistance can still send back signals. It's as if those satellites are all the same. Logically speaking, this kind of thing shouldn't happen. Because although there are many satellites in the sky, each one has its function. After all, if you want to launch an artificial satellite into the sky, you need to spend a lot of money. Impossible to just shoot and play. However, things are so weird. After most of the satellites lost contact and turned into meteors, all the functions that should be there are still there. Some people even think that the positioning system seems to be more accurate. Meteorological data more detailed. In fact, these are all because the three C-class warships took over the work that the original satellites should have after occupying the three-point geosynchronous orbit. After all, if the positioning system or something fails, many people will die. Not to mention anything else, just dozens of civil aviation planes that are flying in the sky have to crash. The observation and communication system of the C-class battleship originally is much stronger than those satellites. After all, it is for cosmic warfare. The scale of the universe is so large, and every movement is calculated in millions of kilometers. The observation system is not strong, 
So how do you know someone is attacking you? The communication system is not good, how to communicate with other comrades in arms. So, after taking on satellite work for the entire planet, not only was the battleship not under pressure, it was even a little more than capable. Dot dot dot. At the same time, in the command room of the men in black base, it appears that a cruise missile is being launched from a desert base. Warships monitor the entire planet from high above. Soon, something was amiss. In a certain desert, a flame suddenly appeared on the ground. Then, a huge amounts of missile rose from the ground and rushed towards the sky. Is this that Ultron can't sit still? Chin Yun guessed that Ultron had noticed something was wrong and was about to start bombing. Intercepted, if you encounter such a situation in the future, you will be stopped. Almost the second Chin Yun said this sentence. From above the sky, a laser shot out almost instantly. Soon it hit the missile that was about to climb. Boom, the missile was pierced from the ground up. A splendid firework lit up in the sky. At the same time, a government secret meeting. FK, the nuclear warhead was stopped within 10 seconds of takeoff. It's too fast. The acceleration time is more than 10 seconds. It is impossible for us to hit each other. After most of the satellites in the world were shot down, Ultron was not the first to emerge. But America, the nuclear bomb just now was launched by the United States. It turned out that they had discovered three ships parked in Earth's space orbit. I thought it was another alien invasion. After all, these three ships did attack their satellite first. However, after discovering that the missiles could not reach the sky at all, their expressions became uneasy. Isn't this a hell? His interception system is too advanced. With what we have, there is no way to attack. We can only be beaten. And now we can't even launch fighter planes. These old guys got together and felt that there was nothing they could do. Contact shield and dispatch the Avengers. Someone suggested. Hey, yes, don't we have the Avengers? Why haven't they moved yet? Where's Iron Man? Where's Captain America? TCH, I said it at the beginning, the Avengers plan is a fool's plan. You see, none of them can see it at such a critical time. That's right, so much money is consumed every year. I don't know how to work at this time. Clearly, there's still a lot of dissatisfaction with the Avengers at the top. After all, it is not the kind of power that can be controlled by them. Those so-called heroes are all too individual. Even so, they still spend a lot of money on the Avengers every year. Some people are already dissatisfied. Did you forget one thing, who won the aliens in the Battle of New York? Quote dot 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 quote. I have to say that this sentence really blocked the mouths of many people. It was indeed with Iron Man that they were able to drive the Karitas away. When Iron Man rushed into the black hole with that nuclear bomb, it made countless people's blood boil. If it wasn't for him, perhaps that nuclear bomb would have exploded in the heart of New York. This result is very scary. Stop talking nonsense. Contact Nick first. Dot. A group of Avengers were sitting together staring wide-eyed when their calm hit Nick's calm. Chin Yun's plan had already started to be implemented, and they suddenly realized that they had nothing to do. This is a special experience for the Avengers who are busy saving the world every day and feel that the world will not turn around without them. They also don't really trust Chin Yun completely. But for a while, you can only wait. Even Iron Man Tony didn't hold out. Because just now Chin Yun casually threw a steel mixing cup out of the window. A laser shot down from the sky in an instant, instantly vaporizing the mixing glass in midair. It turned into a mist. Oh, I'm just trying to see if the laser positioning of the spaceship is accurate, it seems to be quite accurate now. Casual words, a simple act, but gave Tony huge amounts of pressure. This level of technology is too fierce, precise and fast. Chin Yun's sentence, without his permission, not even a fly can fly. It seems to be true. At least his armor can't stop this kind of attack, and he can't dodge it. How to hide from the speed of light? Maybe fly with a Captain America shield. But after thinking about it, Ultron's vibranium body was still shot by Natasha Romanoff, forget it. At least from the looks of it now, Chin Yun didn't have any malicious intentions. Nick, we have encountered an unknown attack, it is time for the Avengers to dispatch. The high-level voice rang through Nick's communicator. Nick looked around and then at Chin Yun. He directly turned on the microphone and replied, 
isn't this matter already taken over by the man in black? Why do you need us to dispatch it? To be honest, he was a little helpless and unhappy. It has always been their shield who took over from others, and this is the first time someone else has taken over. Now that the high level of the country happened to be here, he couldn't help complaining. Quote question mark question mark. What man in black? However, hearing Nick's words, the other side of the communicator was a little confused. Why did a man in black suddenly appear? Nick was stunned when he heard that the high-level congressman didn't know the man in black. What's the situation? In Nick's opinion, the men in black are very similar to their shield. It's just that the men in black have better equipment. Nobody knows how much shield spends on gear every year, Nick does. Therefore, according to his understanding, if you want to be better than shield, at least you have to spend more money than shield. What's more, the man in black has a pistol that can blow up vibranium, and has his own spaceship, and can block the Earth like a space-based weapon. This kind of technology, the money it costs is absolutely astronomical. At least the power of the whole country is needed to support it. Therefore, there must be a country behind the man in black, not even one, at least the kind that requires the support of all five major countries. But now, people in Congress actually say they don't know about the man in black. Isn't this nonsense? We didn't start an organization called Men in Black. Congress again gave Nick a negative answer. Nick turned his gaze to Chin Yun. The T-1000 under Chin Yun's control also frowned. The nuclear bomb just now was not launched by Ultron. Was it launched by you? Nuke. This sentence immediately touched everyone's nerves. Especially Tony. Since the Battle of New York, he's now dreaming of nuclear bombs in his head. Subconsciously asked, What nuclear bomb? Chin Yun said, a few minutes ago, in the middle of the XXX desert, we intercepted a missile that had just been launched with a nuclear warhead. I thought it was launched by Ultron. What? This time it was the voice from the communicator who spoke. You intercepted our nuclear bomb. Who are you? Men in black. What kind of organization is this? How dare you intercept our missiles in our country? The tone of the people in Congress was very fierce, and they were so angry. Their nuclear bomb was launched on the mainland, and then it was intercepted by unknown people. Wait, we were intercepted by that thing in the sky. Those three unidentified flight objects in orbit are yours. Who are you? Why did you shoot down the satellite? At this moment, both parties seem to have discovered the other's behavior. Good guy, it turns out that the unidentified flight objects they were going to launch the nuclear bombs were organized by the so-called men in black. After a long time, the enemy is right in front of us. How could Nick be with them and not hide while communicating? What the hell is the man in black? How dare you attack the United States itself or our satellites? Are you going to declare war on the United States? Hee <laughs> hee, listening to the voice of a bit out of control coming from the opposite side. Chin Yun just laughed. Our spacecraft is already in orbit, why are there always people who can't see the situation clearly? Declaration of War Please clarify the situation, who are we? We are the men in black. All matters related to the third type of contact are within our scope of responsibility. The community of shared future for mankind is our definition of ourselves, and occasionally we have to resolve our internal crises. For example, now, a crazy second-level semi-intelligent life is raging on the internet, holding a nuclear bomb and ready to launch it in major cities at any time. For the safety of the world, we are busy here, and you still want to launch missiles to blow up my spaceship. What a bunch of incompetent politicians who will only drag you down. There are always people who will hold you back when you are doing big things. For example, these so-called high-level congressmen now. Men in black. Close encounters of the third kind. Listening to Chin Yun talking about the man in black, he looked very hanging. People in Congress don't know at all, when did such an organization exist? No matter what you are doing, what organization you are, you need to report to Congress. We don't recognize what you call a community with a shared future for mankind, what kind of men in black organization. Your organization has never been approved by us. It is illegal. Now, immediately, let Nick take over your three ships. Everything with Ultron we delegate to S.H.I.E.L.D. People in Congress don't have a good opinion of this organization that they haven't heard of at all. As the United States is almost the highest level existence, how can an organization that they don't even know is legal?
and to engage in such a big battle is simply not to take them seriously. You know even S.H.I.E.L.D. has to listen to them. Nick narrowed his eyes when he heard that. Curious what kind of decision Chin Yun will make. After all, it is a country, maybe Chin Yun will really listen. It would be a blessing for Nick to take over those three spaceships. However, he felt that the probability that Chin Yun would be obedient was very low. After all, the men in black organization represented by Chin Yun still remained mysterious. Facing such strong words, Chin Yun silently shook his head. You guys, you haven't figured out the situation until now. Ultron stuff, I didn't want to do it, but you guys screwed up, so I decided to do it. Since I decide to intervene, no one can participate, no matter what shield, what congress. Why do you think that you can order me? Chin Yun doesn't know if these politicians are used to being arrogant, isn't the current situation obvious enough? Our three ships are in synchronous orbit. If Chin Yun is willing, he can even destroy all the military facilities of the United States. What do these people think? Still acting like an order. Hearing Chin Yun's words, people in the Congress panicked. You don't have the right to do this. Who gave you the power? The Constitution provides. Upon hearing this, Chin Yun quickly waved his hand and interrupted his speech. Don't talk nonsense to me. What constitution, what power, that's all your own business. The meaning of our organization's existence is to unite the destiny of mankind in the endless world. You don't really think that the United States is the only country on this earth. You don't really think that just you idiots drinking coffee in a mansion can represent all mankind. Chin Yun began to get angry. Why do some people always think that the world will not go around without him? Chin Yun's words instantly made the people in Congress understand one thing. These people are not in the hands of their country. Is this okay? Are you declaring war on the United States? People in Congress said that sentence again. We have the strongest army in this world. We have shield, we have Avengers. Nick, get him. Uproot this organization. How dare you be so arrogant in the United States? And Chin Yun is still in the Avengers gathering place. Although they can't handle the three ships for the time being, they can handle the owner of this ship. However, facing the order of the Congress, the people present did not move at all, and they had no intention of arresting them at all. Even Nick is full of helplessness, even if they are all here, he has nothing to do with Chin Yun. Because, member, he's a robot, he's not here. Chin Yun himself did not come, and everyone knew this from the beginning. What was present was only a liquid metal robot remotely controlled by Chin Yun. As a person who is afraid of death, it is impossible for Chin Yun to come here in person without necessity. Robot, people in Congress were dumbfounded. Through the video, they couldn't feel at all that the man in front of them, who looked like flesh and blood, had a rich expression, and scolded others and wanted to hack him to death, was a robot. This technology, compared to those in the military, even Tony's are high level, right? How high is the technical level of the organization of the men in black? They can't understand. The United States is the country of science and technology. Dot dot dot. Okay, I'm too lazy to talk to you guys, I'm going to get down to business. Others, do whatever you like. Chin Yun also said confidently. Army, our base is 300 meters underground, even if a nuclear bomb explodes overhead, it is impossible to hurt him. Afraid of wool. After speaking, Chin Yun focused on the business. Headquarters, four floors underground. Chin Yun came here in the elevator with some heartache. The initial base given by the system only has three floors. This fourth floor was bought by Chin Yun. Supersonic subway. The base building has a completely vacuum underground network, minus 1,000 meters, can travel at up to 100 times the speed of sound, and can reach any corner of the earth within 20 minutes. Price. 1500 including supersonic train x50 as well as complete underground passages and subway stations in fact there is nothing else on this floor just a subway station to be honest the price of 1500 is very uneconomical for its price it's just that chin yun can't help it this is infrastructure construction and he needs to send a large number of people scattered around the world within a period of time it is too obvious that relying on the five transport spaceships in the dock is not enough. I can only grit my teeth and buy it. Several trains suspended in the transparent tube like bullets stopped quietly in the station. When Chin Yun came down, 
there were constantly Secret Service personnel carrying strange equipment and started walking towards the car. When a moving car is full, almost instantly, there was a scream and disappeared. How, are there enough people? Chin Yun came to 404 who was arranging personnel and asked. Boss, almost enough. Containing Ultron in the network may seem like a useful plan, but it is very complicated to implement. Because the world is too big and there are too many people. The network systems of different countries are also very different. To ensure that Ultron will not slip through the net, every blocked interface must be very tight. However, the physical network is very messy after all. To achieve this, the network still needs to be subdivided. So, Chin Yun didn't just buy such a subway station. It also cost a thousand points to buy a thousand special agents. Plus the one thousand people originally gifted by the system. Now the secret service of the base has reached the number of two thousand. These two thousand people will be scattered across the entire earth within a few hours via supersonic trains. 808 will subdivide the place where the network has about 1,900 areas, like a fishing net. What these people are holding in their hands is the network repeater used by the men in Black Base, and the technical level is several levels higher than the existing ones on the Earth. The Secret Service personnel took these repeaters and arrived at each node after activation. The repeater will take over all the network communication work in the small grid. To put it bluntly, that is to say, it is coverage and replaces the original network. In this way, when running the encirclement program, it can be guaranteed that Ultron cannot escape, and can only be slowly driven to the central circle by Qin Yun. According to the Chinese, this is called formation. Definitely, there were not so many of these devices in the original base. Although there is technology, but not too much can be produced in a short while. Qin Yun had no choice but to spend money to buy it from the store. However, the price is still very affordable. Nearly 2,000 repeaters only cost 20 points. It is equivalent to charging a material processing fee. However, this wave of expenses made even Chin Yun feel a little heartbroken. 1,500 for the subway station, 1,000 yuan for secret service personnel, 20 yuan for the repeater, plus the 1,800 yuan for the individual deflector shield. This is 4,320 points. Of the 5,000 points awarded by Sofon Technology, only 680 points remained. But it's okay, the subway station can be used all the time, so can the Secret Service personnel. Chin Yun can only comfort himself, this is not a waste, at least these things are considered to be in his hands. While Chin Yun is setting up the encirclement net, Congress has exploded. Dot dot dot. The men in black, where did this organization come from? Why was there no information at all before? They are so arrogant. They have shot down so many of our artificial satellites. There is also a cruise missile. Sanctions must be imposed. Such terrorist organizations cannot exist. MPs were outraged. The favorability for the man in black is almost zero. They are the overlords of the United States, but they were deflated in front of an organization. When have we the United States suffered such a loss? Send out the army. Go and destroy them all. The already violent congressman started to move around, ready to kill the man in black. Army, do you see if any of our fighter planes dare to take off? The battleship is suspended in the air, and it can shoot down nearly 5,000 artificial satellites so quickly and almost at the same time. The strength of this precise strike is not a fool in the army. Almost no one in the Air Force dares to start a fighter plane without knowing it. How about using decoy bomb tactics? And, don't we have an army? Quote dot dot dot. It's an orbital laser. Decoy bomb, do you think it's an old naval battle from the last century? As for the army, the army, it's really suspicious, it can't even walk to someone's door. Dude, do you understand rail gun washing the ground? A certain pot-bellied congressman had a gloomy face, as if he was dead. So, we, the United States, have nothing to do with an organization. Is this still Earth? Is this still the United States? Think of me as rice grains and nuts, who have been domineering for so many years and say what they say. What do you mean now? Faced with an organization that popped up suddenly, they have no temper at all. The big belly suddenly stood up and lined up rows of tables fiercely. This threat of no longer being in control cannot be allowed to exist. The other person next to him rolled his eyes and said with some disdain. Hee hee, 
That sounds nice, but what you said is useful. What should I do? Who wouldn't just say harsh words? Let's get something real. The pregnant congressman looked around for a week. He said very seriously, there is a way. For a moment, everyone's eyes were focused on his face. Some are curious, some are doubtful, and some are excited. He changed his mouth and said word by word, there is an old saying in China. We, wait and see what happens. Quote dot 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 question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark exclamation mark quote. MTFK, you idiot, stop farting there. Dot 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 dot. Chin Yun didn't know that members of Congress were discussing how to deal with him. Even if he knew, he wouldn't care. This one third of an acre of land on the earth is not the turn of those self righteous people BB Lili. Men in black are not vegetarian either. At the moment, the array of the men in black is almost ready. With 808 start the encoding program. On the world map on the large screen in the command room, red dots began to light up one by one. Activating the repeater. Each red dot represents the activation of a repeater. Afterwards, faint silk threads began to connect along the red dots. About half an hour or so. More than 1,900 red dots have lit up on the entire screen. They form a well-shaped grid with each other. Wrap the map. Until the whole earth is within the bounds of this wrapping. This means that at this moment, the man in black has completely controlled the network of the entire earth. As long as Chin Yun is willing, he can disconnect any area from the internet. With Ultron's life level, there are not many devices that can accommodate him. However, it cannot be ruled out that he is willing to sacrifice part of his intelligence in order to run Lu Ning. So the cleaning process is slower. We have to make sure that every device that can be connected to the internet, such as computers, mobile phones, even smart watches, car computers, etc., does not have any fish that slip through the net. As a professional technology logistics, 808 has played a huge amounts of role at this moment. Chin Yun was also very relieved to hand over this matter to him. Although this is a secret service that appeared in the system, it is also a person with its own complete and independent personality. Everyone on the base is like this. However, there are specialties in the art industry, and they may just not be suitable to be detectives. When it comes to their professional affairs, they are definitely better than anyone else. Just like now, more than 1,900 secret agents have been sent out to install and protect the repeaters, and none of them have any accidents. This is professionalism. At this moment, seeing that almost all the members of the men in black were busy, Chin Yun began to feel at home in this organization that belonged to him. Start running the siege program. When everything is ready. They started the preset program without any hesitation. There is no point in waiting. Following Chin Yun's order. The 808 also hit the enter key. An invisible signal, passing through the base's host computer, began to spread outwards. If the online world is converted to reality. At this moment, on the earth, starting from the base of the man in black, a point gradually becomes brighter. Afterwards, it turned into a circle of light and began to grow bigger and bigger in all directions. The earth is round, and the wall formed by this light circle will spread out on this round surface, and at last, it will be tightened at the end. This procedure is like a very powerful X-ray that can penetrate almost everything that can be connected to the Internet. At the same time, the network equipment swept by the wall will also have some changes. Ha, huh, why is the Internet so slow? Me too. Dot the video got stuck, wait, it's okay, it's fine again. The brief freeze did not attract the attention of most people, because it was only a matter of a few seconds. After all, network fluctuations often occur even in normal times. No one cares about the freeze for a few seconds. However, someone found the problem. At this moment, the main body of the program is in Ultron, an abandoned Hydra base, and something is wrong. What's the situation? This feeling, Ultron found that the broilers, controlled by him were decreasing rapidly at a terrifying rate. This is, someone is cleaning the internet. For the world of programming, Ultron is far more sensitive than anyone else. A ring-shaped model instantly appeared in his mind. It is a running diagram of the cleaning program. How did you do that? This way of coding? No. It's not a computer language. The encoding method of Sophons from the Trisilaran civilization is very different from that of human beings. It's not even a computer language anymore, 
but some kind of simple intelligence. Compared with Ultron, adding Ultron as an elephant, this cleaning program is like an ant. Not powerful for Ultron, but it can't stand the large number of it. The so-called ants kill elephants. Even if Ultron was tainted by such a program, his core would definitely be tainted. It's like pouring a few vats of ink into a pure water source. This is intolerable for Ultron. Don't be stained by this thing. Almost just looked at this, and Ultron cut off the connection without any hesitation. Even lost some databases for it. He knows that if this thing touches him, he will definitely lose himself and become an empty walking corpse. When the equipment storing core consciousness loses maintenance, he will completely disappear from this world. Where did this thing come from? Is it against me? Ultron felt that the ability to come up with such a thing to clean up the internet was aimed at him, right? Humanity. Possessed on a certain robot, he felt fear for the first time. Humans are such a disgusting race. Have you found a way to deal with me so quickly? I can't sit still. Ultron looked up, looking behind him. That's a huge amounts of humanoid robot. It looks a bit like a Gundam. He wasn't idle when he threatened the Avengers to hand over Vibranium's body. Using everything in this abandoned base, this, Gundam, was built with countless machines and equipment. However, it's not finished yet. Sure enough, humans will not bow their heads without experiencing the lessons of blood and death. Then, dot 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 dot, Stark building, Ultron sensed the danger, so he sent a communication request without hesitation. Tony's other communicator rang. It's Ultron. This communicator is currently their only device connected to the external network. Also used exclusively to contact Ultron. Modular phones, cameras and microphones are unplugged and only used when needed. All other wireless modules are also removed. Just to prevent Ultron from invading and eavesdropping on their conversations. Plugging in the microphone, Tony thought Ultron had come to ask for Vibranium's body, and was about to say something. Ultron spoke first. Humans, you really don't know how to repent. Stop your actions, or I will make you feel what real fear is. Although Ultron is still strong, but in the tone, there is no longer the high-handed look before. Everyone realized for a while, this is, the man in black started to fight. Hearing Ultron's distraught voice, everyone turned their attention to T-1000, which was standing motionless all the time. Chin Yun. Dot are you still there? Banner yelled. After about two or three seconds, the originally stiff T-1000 came back to life again. This is Chin Yun turning motion capture sync back on. This is also one of the useful features of the T-1000. Chin Yun only needs to turn on the panoramic camera at the base and transmit the picture and sound data to the T-1000. T-1000 can almost perfectly restore all Chin Yun's movements and language. It was as if Chin Yun himself was present. Perfectly worked. I heard. Ultron, right, I haven't seen you for a day, and you still look like you're going to destroy the world. Chin Yun had been wearing earphones just now, and he heard what Ultron said. You are, from that base. At this moment, Ultron seemed to know who Chin Yun was. How could he not remember this voice? Isn't it the place he wanted to invade after escaping from Tony's base, but he never succeeded? His subroutines are still constantly attacking the firewall of the man in black's host. So, those ants are your handwriting. Now it seems that everything makes sense. Except for the places on the earth that do not have network connections, that is, the base of the men in black, they have never been able to enter by themselves. They are the only ones who can make that disgusting encirclement. Ant, you're pretty good at finding adjectives. I have to say, as an intelligent life form, your way of thinking is indeed very human-like. Hearing the word ants, Chin Yun was taken aback for a moment, and then realized that Ultron was describing his encirclement. Sure enough, the encirclement began to work. Otherwise, how could Ultron, who was hiding in the corner and didn't know what to do, suddenly appear? This is a big gift I specially prepared for you. It cost me nearly 3,000 yuan. How is it? Doesn't it taste good? Chin Yun's face was full of pain, which instantly aroused Ultron's anger. 3000 Yuan, who is this insulting? Human, I found that you disrespect me very much. For an intelligent life, money is nothing more than a string of numbers. As long as he wants, he can become the richest man in the world in a few seconds. Just, not necessary. 
Listen to what Chen Yun said. In order to deal with myself, I spent 3,000 yuan, and my heart hurts. This is really contemptuous of people. Human beings are really contradictory creatures. From beast, to evolve to have civilization, to control science and technology. Science is such a wonderful thing. However, the top technology is always created to fight against the same kind. Like, a nuclear bomb. Ultron, no doubt, is spilling his fangs. He still holds many nuclear bombs in his hands. You mean, those squibs in your hand? Chin Yun laughed. There was someone above him, so there was no panic at all. You should be aware of something in Earth's orbit, right? What do you think you can do with the few squibs in your hands? Chin Yun is not worried at all. After another hour, when the cleaning program is finished, even Ultron's right to control the nuclear bombs will be taken away. Quote dot dot dot. Human, you think too simply. Who said that a nuclear bomb must go to the sky to detonate? I can detonate right where those nuclear bombs are. As soon as the words came out, Nick's face changed drastically. Can't. Most of the nuclear bombs in Ultron's hands are from various secret military bases in the United States. Once the nuclear bombs are detonated in those bases, countless soldiers of the United States will be buried with them. Seeing that someone was in a hurry, Ultron was a little smug. Just about to say something, Chin Yun waved his hand indifferently. The life and death of those soldiers from the United States, what does the man in black have to do with me? You don't think we are some kind of holy mother organization, little AI. Most of the bases that can store nuclear bombs and be invaded by you are in remote areas, and there are not many civilians around. What if you detonate it? Do you really think the lives of those soldiers from the United States are important to us? Chin Yun really smiled. Ultron used those military bases as a threat, which might work for Nick, but not for him. Even if those nuclear bombs blow up, it's just no man's land. If people who have nothing to do with him die, no one really thinks that Chin Yun will care, right? Ultron was not the only one dumbfounded by Chin Yun's indifferent look. Even the Avengers present looked at him dumbfounded. You, how can you do this? Those are all life. A base that stores nuclear bombs, even if there are only 10. There are at least 10 bases. Each of the 10 bases has a minimum configuration of 1 or 2,000 people. This is at least 10,000 to 20,000 people. Counting some other effects. Once these nuclear bombs explode, at least 40,000 to 50,000 people will be killed or injured. That's not even environmental damage. If the trouble is bigger, more than 100,000 people may be killed or injured. These nuclear bombs cannot be detonated. This is the consensus of almost all Avengers. The lives of so many people cannot be decided by you. Nick stood up righteously. Are you going to start Our Lady? Looking at their posture, Chin Yun could probably guess what they were going to say. It's nothing more than the fact that the lives of people in the United States are greater than the sky. Chin Yun laughed and slowly sat on the sofa beside him, then crossed his legs and said leisurely. Can't I decide? Is it up to you? Quote dot dot dot. S.H.I.E.L.D. is a national organization. Everything the Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. do is for world peace. This matter should be decided by us. Nick stared at the only remaining eye, and argued with reason. Although I'm not from Earth, I also feel that I can't just give up so many lives. Thor quietly raised his hand aside. For a moment, the atmosphere at the scene became a little weird. Ultron enjoyed listening to these men arguing. I just think that human beings are really a hopeless race, and even at this moment, there will be unnecessary disputes. Hee <laughs> hee, so what? What are you going to do? What are you going to ask me to do when you stand on the moral high ground here? Chin Yun sneered. You guys are really interesting, you can't fight, you can't catch, and you tell me not to do it, listen to the enemy. What's wrong? I'm just going to get caught without a fight, Ultron will do whatever he wants. That's not what we mean, we just think that there must be a better solution. The good old man Hulk quickly tried to persuade him, he felt that Chin Yun was not very talkative. Chin Yun's eyes scanned the crowd present, and found that someone was already looking at him with hostility. You guys still don't know enough about what is a man in black and what, is a community of shared destiny. At this moment, Chin Yun was ready to teach them a lesson. In his previous life, he was a game planner. He is going to use his former professional skill once again, which is, making up stories. 
Aren't you curious, why have you never heard of the man in black before? Why can our organization hide for so long? As soon as this remark came out, everyone became interested. Especially Nick, he has long wanted to find out about this sudden organization. It's just that due to the force of the opponent, that is, the three ships above his head, he can only pretend to be in harmony with Qin Yun. Now listening to Qin Yun, do you want to tell them? Actually, the reason is very simple, because the men in black on earth are just a backup. I'm actually not from this universe. As soon as these words came out, the audience fell silent. Thor subconsciously squeezed his hammer again. Nick frowned, and looked at Natasha Romanoff. Natasha Romanoff looked thoughtful, not knowing what he was thinking, but after thinking for a while, he still gave Nick a sure look. And Tony, even a little excited. Parallel universe. You are not from this world at all. No wonder you have to care about other people's lives. At this moment, Nick seemed to understand why Chin Yun could be so casual. It must be because he was an aggressor after all. Nick put Chin Yun into the enemy's queue in an instant, and he was thinking crazily about how to deal with the man in black. No, you're mistaken. It's not that we don't care about other people's lives. Chin Yun shook his head. It's just that you have no idea what happened. That is, the real hell on earth. For Chin Yun, he is the best at making up stories. For some unknown reason, Chin Yun started telling the story at this moment. This world has countless universes. The men in black divided the countless universes into 36 sectors according to the timeline, and the men in black in each sector are responsible for the destiny of trillions of human beings in the universe. I am the person in charge of the sixth sector. The sixth sector used to connect the heavens and myriad worlds, and our headquarters even has a huge artificial planet as the headquarters base. Just for the material spent on building this artificial planet, we have emptied all the matter in more than 3,000 fixed star systems. Quote. Chin Yun spoke very slowly, and the depiction in the story seemed to instill some kind of picture directly into their heads. It's unimaginable how huge such a place is to hollow out more than 3,000 galaxies just to build an artificial planet. It has even exceeded the limit of power in the phenomenon of everyone. Tony opened his mouth even more, listening to Chin Yun's description in a daze. Even with his wealth, in front of this level, it seems that he can only be called a poor man. Human beings, aliens, and third-type life forms in countless parallel worlds are all in our communication connection, exchanging what we need, developing harmoniously, and making progress together. We protect, we embrace all rivers, and we maintain the peace and stability of countless worlds. This picture seems to be getting better and better. However, some kind of accident still happened. In countless parallel universes, there are also countless threats. Our act of protecting those worlds has aroused the attention of some primitive life forms that rely on devouring the universe for a living. Speaking of this, everyone couldn't help swallowing their saliva. A life form that lives by, devouring the universe. What the hell is this? Even Ultron was mesmerized when he heard this. For a while, I didn't want to interrupt the idea of continuing to listen. Original life is a special kind of life, before the explosion of the universe, before the formation of a new world. That singularity has its own consciousness and has become a life. Except for a part of the original life that became the cradle of life, the god of creation, the other part became a terrifying existence that devoured the universe. They will shuttle in different universes, devour everything in the universe, until the universe dies, and then go to the next world. 3,000 original beings united and invaded the headquarters of our sixth sector. Chin Yun's expression was full of sighs. That picture also made the people who listened to the story feel their scalps go numb. Is the base of the men in black depicted in Chin Yun's story strong? Definitely powerful. Wouldn't it be amazing to hollow out 3,000 galaxies to build artificial planets? However, in the face of the creature that eats the universe, they are a little confused again. Such a thing, one is already desperate, 3,000. This is a war that spans countless dimensional universes. We have fought for 30,000 years, involving more than 100,000 universes, destroyed more than 6,000 universes, and sacrificed more than 900 people standing in our camp God of Creation. However, there are too many enemies, 3,000 original lives, and the combined strength is still difficult to defeat the opponent. This kind of war, has already made the people present somewhat unable to imagine the picture. 
No one spoke. Why do you interrupt? We are still talking about the shitty things about these military bases and nuclear bombs on the earth. But you told me that when you fight, the level universe is gone, and the entire universe will disappear every now and then. What kind of god of creation? Hearing this title is something extraordinary. Could it be? Dot the kind of creator god they imagined. God. 900 gods dead. It's fake. How could there be such an outrageous thing? Tony said, what kind of god of creation, what kind of original life, the fight wiped out such hellish things as 6,000 universes. How could it be true? If they were really that powerful, why would they be still be bling with them on earth? Natasha Romanoff is also a little confused. Because he is in the headquarters of the men in black, he seems to have heard Chin Yun say that they can connect different worlds. Even met a person from another world. She didn't believe it then, but now she doesn't know whether to believe it. Could it be real? Just when everyone was still doubtful, Thor, who hadn't spoken for a long time, suddenly said. I heard from my father that, there is indeed a creator God in this universe. Quote question mark question mark question mark question mark quote. For a moment, everyone looked at Tony in shock. They didn't know whether to believe it or not, but Tony's was very believable. Who is his father? God King Odin, an old cosmic being who lived for more than 5,000 years. Thor looked at Chin Yun with a serious face. Because Chin Yun's story is outrageous, but some basic things are correct. Many of these things are simply impossible for humans on Earth to know and come into contact with. For example, the saying of creation God. Infinite gems is part of the power of creation God. At this moment, Tony even began to believe in Chin Yun. So, you guys are going through a big fight right now. No, Chin Yun shook his head. The war is over. We, lost. Quote question mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. As soon as these words came out, everyone gasped in an instant. This kind of war, lost. The countless worlds in Chin Yun's mouth. Isn't it? Chin Yun sighed and looked up at the sky, as if there was some kind of answer in the stars. We failed and activated a small backup base in this universe, replicating a backup of my soul that I had saved long ago. In this war, we sacrificed 9,678 trillion 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 compatriots. For some reason, this number seemed to come out of my mouth without any modification. So, dot you understand. Chin Yun suddenly turned around and looked at everyone. Sacrifice is inevitable. In the face of war and the third type of life, the men in black will only move forward, not retreat. Even if you fight to the last person. Fight until everyone dies, and the universe dies. We will never back down. This is the spirit of the man in black. It is also the spirit that human beings should have. At the moment, everyone was shocked by the story depicted by Chin Yun. Even Chin Yun himself has entered into it. Don't know why, against Ultron, against anything of the third type, Trisolarans or something. Even if he was a little cowardly at first, subconsciously, the actions he made were still very strong. Perhaps, in my bones, I am a person who is unwilling to admit defeat. If he travels back to ancient times to be the emperor, he must be the kind of person who does not pay compensation, does not negotiate peace, and fights to the end without paying compensation, right? However, just when Chin Yun was immersed in the story he made up and couldn't extricate himself, but I heard a system prompt in my mind. Congratulations to the host, discovering the ultimate secret of the system. Reward. A mysterious gift pack. Chin Yun. At this moment, Chin Yun only felt a chill rushing from his back to his brain. The system reminds you what TMD means. Chin Yun even had the urge to swear. He just made up a random story. What does it mean to discover the ultimate secret of the system? What are you kidding? The system just popped up a prompt, and after giving a big gift package, Chin Yun was ignored. Chin Yun. Chin Yun's bewilderment, in the eyes of others, reveals a kind of deep grief. What kind of tragic war did this all go through to defeat such a huge organization? Several people died and several universes were destroyed. Saying that there are only numbers in the mouth, but just relying on imagination, you can feel this magnificent epic. Natasha Romanoff also remembered what he said when he was chatting with Chin Yun. I remember that Jay asked Chin Yun where the other agents of the organization had gone. Chin Yun just said lightly, they are all dead. 
Natasha Romanoff thought it was just some kind of rhetoric. After all, how could she be so calm when the people in her organization were dead? But when Chin Yun told the story in detail, she found out. Maybe this is the numbness after seeing too many deaths. In the corner on the side, there are two people who have never spoken. A man and a woman, they have no sense of existence. However, at this moment, the girl secretly cried. It seemed that hearing Chin Yun's story aroused her memories. Her name is Wanda, the Scarlet Witch of the future, the teenage girl of today. She and her brother, Quicksilver, have faced war and faced death. I saw with my own eyes that my originally harmonious family was shattered, and my parents died before my eyes. For her, death is an endless painful memory. Chin Yun's distorted expression made her feel the same way. So many people died in the war, among them, would there be his relatives? His parents, he must be suffering, right? In my mind, Wanda's own parents appeared unconsciously, and tears rolled down her cheeks. What Wanda didn't know was that Chin Yun's weird expression was not because of pain. It was because of the explosion that the system prompts brought him. Dot 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 dot, parallel world, primitive life, the universe is dying. Nick was greatly shocked by the past of the men in black organization that Chin Yun mentioned. He has been dealing with all kinds of threats on this one-third of the acre of the earth. He has always wanted to control everything and kill all threats in the cradle. This is what they, S.H.I.E.L.D., exist for. However, in the face of what Chin Yun has encountered, can S.H.I.E.L.D. really save the world? While being shocked, Nick actually still had doubts in his heart. He will not simply believe in other people's one-sided words, let alone such outrageous things. How do you prove that everything you said is true? Nick asked the question most of the people in the room wanted to ask. This sentence also called Chin Yun back from the stupefied state. I don't need proof. The man in black does things and never needs to prove to anyone. I just need to know that the time has come. As he spoke, Chin Yun subconsciously looked at the time. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. That's when Ultron was the first to notice something was wrong. No, you. Before the words were finished, the communication was cut off in an instant. What's the situation? Tony hurriedly checked with the communicator. No need to check. The communicator is fine. Chin Yun smiled slightly. Ultron has now completely disappeared from the network. Dot 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 dot. Meanwhile, in the abandoned Hydra base, Ultron quickly disconnected all his external interfaces and locked all his main programs in the current machine body. If anyone could see him now, even with barely robotic facial expressions, could feel the ugliness on Ultron's face. FK, as an intelligent life form, Ultron also began to swear. He never expected that Chin Yun would play tricks. Because, a few minutes ago, the, sweeping, system officially reached its maximum radius. On the Earth, it is the part of the largest circumference of the circle, which has been completely diffused by the cleaning system. Judging from the diffusion speed of the previous cleaning procedure, Ultron still has at least nearly an hour left. However, this program, after reaching the maximum radius, shrinks at a speed beyond ordinary people's imagination. An hour of diffusion, a few seconds of time. Just shrink the circle to the minimum. Do you believe this? As a result, almost instantly, all his subroutines on the internet were infected with ants. In order to keep his consciousness, he had no choice but to forcibly disconnect from the internet. Impossible. Why did it suddenly accelerate? This is unscientific. Ultron didn't even understand. He was doing well, so why did he suddenly become like this? Right now, he is at his most vulnerable. As long as this body is destroyed, his life will be completely over. Unless he opens the network interface again and becomes that ubiquitous intelligent life. But now the internet is full of, ants, of men in black. How dare he open the network interface? Thinking of this, he was so angry that he slapped the wall beside him. Boom, the walls came crashing down. FK 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 FK. With his mouth full of swear words, he couldn't help but look at the Gundam behind him who was still stepping up construction. This thing is his only hope for a comeback now. He squeezed his fist tightly, bowed his head and said fiercely. Human, I will not lose. Dot 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 dot. Meanwhile, Stark building. Everyone was dumbfounded. It seems, it does seem, to be clean on the internet. 
Tony took out an independent device to connect to the internet and checked it with the program. The trace of Ultron's existence is really no longer found. Nick also received a message. Director. The nuclear bomb bases of the military have regained control, and they have been disconnected from the internet. Before, when Ultron got control of the nuclear bomb base, the military could only watch. Don't dare to disconnect the internet, because once Ultron finds out that they want to disconnect the internet, Ultron will definitely detonate the nuclear bomb. But now, Ultron seemed to disappear in an instant, and as a program, he didn't even have time to give an order to detonate. It seems that some terrible thing cut off all, broiler, links in an instant. So, what the hell happened? Ultron has been dealt with. For a moment, everyone turned their attention to Chin Yun. I was still listening to his story just now, and now the matter is resolved. This is too outrageous. In this regard, Chin Yun was not surprised at all. You don't really think that the 3000 yuan is for nothing, do you? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.